reconnected. Episode what the one. heck, man? Episode, Episode one. We are man, here. Let's go. Let's fucking go crazy, man. We're our own crowd. Let's go, baby. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's the entire <laughs> show, guys. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much for coming. Yeah. We appreciate yeah. you. Please hit the Hell sub button. Yeah. Honestly. Wait, no, this is crazy, bro. I just want to say shout out to all y'all because, like, we honestly did this within a week. Less, yeah. Less than a week. Less than a week. And now that it's all filled up, I feel like. Cursing. Excuse me. I will be able to, like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Just, okay, but, like, ahead. beyond all that, man, I just want to say, like, man, we in here. The disconnection got reconnected. Wow. Yeah. And honestly, I just want to pick up right where we left off at. You feel me? Big the thing. last two episodes, I missed out on it. You feel me? So I've been Did on you? like, yeah, I've been on like. Where uh, was you at? What the heck? I wasn't you, there. Wait, wait, yeah, the wait, first wait, one, so look, Mexico, the first Vegas. one, I, I got caught up in Mexico. Like, bro, oh, yeah. like the, the border was oh, way yeah. too long. I'm not going to lie. That spot y'all had out there looked fire. Yeah. That looked that, was fire. that like, like Chavo's mansion or something? <laughs> Nah, bro, but what happened, honestly, is we got caught up in, like, an open field. We were trying to get to our hotel, but we ended up, like, in an open How field. How did you think that driving through an open field I don't was know, leading bro. to your hotel? And, like, a sedan Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, that's no, crazy. That, Please that's tell crazy. me. No, what it was was, I don't know, bro. Like, in Mexico, the directions are different, but we had to, like, make a left into, like, a field, bro. And, like, my homie was no, like, you just didn't. keep, bro. Look, we, we go, like, 100 yards left into this open field, and it says making other, like, Make a right at this turn, and you just see like you can see it's the beaten path. You turn feel me? where you guys are driving through a field, bro. It's we like... hit a beaten path to another beaten path, and then we hit a hill, and okay. then we just realized like, nah, we're in too deep. It's about to get dark. We gotta get the fuck out of here. But why would you even go on the field? In the we're in Mexico, bro. You know we're having fun. You feel me? So you it's... think you think <laughs> riding through random fields in Mexico is fun? I mean, it, it was kind think of boring it. after a while. I'm not but, gonna lie. But think about it. You <laughs> were sure. like. You were probably in somebody's property. I was. I was definitely. You're I, yeah, I was you're tripping. tripping. That's the number one place. And you the worst part you're is like, property. you know, whenever you do a B and B in like the Rosarito area, like you always mm. gotta check out. I've never like, been. It's fire. I think it's like the perfect like stage for like a uh, like a lock in session. You feel me? Okay. So no, I have a lot of fun doing that shit. But uh shit, beyond man. all that, and then then last week I was just in Vegas, bro. I was just like, you know what? Yeah. You know, we were gonna plan like some some show, but I was like, nah, you know. Yeah. And the nigga Hesh was walking around with the fucking whole laundry bag. Yeah. That yeah, he, that's yeah, crazy. He, yeah, he has a sample. <laughs> I would have definitely brought that shit up to my room Hesh and left is it there. Funny, bro. <laughs> How do we know you're not gonna be in Rome next week? Or like, what do you, you mean? Know? I'm here, I'm here to it. say. I'm here to say. Of, speaking of which, I'll be in Switzerland uh, for the next two weeks. Yeah, I got. Oh shit! Too. You ruined it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna drop the show. No, I was gonna say that if we were like when he went to go on this vacation, we should have been like, "Yo, we had some creative differences. Had to I let. Know. Oh had to yeah, let I forgot go. we were gonna. Oh, I remember. Like, <laughs> oh, you already ruined, ruined, ruined it, bro. Now, ruined. 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 now what we could do is like maybe <laughs> since like now we have access to like doing Photoshop, and, like maybe we could like green screen you in. <laughs> you know, like get a robot, or I'm down. Is, have you pre-record at your house? Your responses, then, or we get we can have a deep fake version of him. Yes, where they just like collab all of his like previous words yeah. that he said. Not yeah. even that many words. It's just like uh, <laughs> yeah, we no. just need a robot that drinks Corona and says that's lit, that's gay. Yeah, that's, it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's weak as that hell. Two pack of ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you need. To, this AI to say. Oh, <laughs> God. Just flies to everything oh, like that. Funny. Nah, but I'm glad to do this biggest bro shit, man. Like, uh, man, um, shout out to my biggest bro. I feel man. like I feel like it just made sense. You feel me? It got to a point where it's like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like. If it just didn't feel right, then I feel like it, it's better if we just, like, continue to do this shit. And, you know, as long as we have it coming out, you know, the fans are going to want to Yeah, it, you know? at, at, yeah. like, at the end of the day, no pun intended, at the end of the day, uh, us stopping the show because of the creative differences just would have been lame. There was yeah, so many yeah. people who were, like, you know, DMing me, just telling me, like, dude, like, I really love that show. This is, like, the only reason why I was, like, tuning in. Like, I really want... Like, I hell, people are just devastated. You know what, though? Yeah. Like, like, no, that's facts. I'm not saying that I don't believe people when they say that, but like, so I have many a good people... filter. I have a good, like, I go through a lot of Whoa. DMs and I have a good judge of when people are trolling. You yeah. know, I could be fooled regardless. Trolling, but... Well, that's but the Rikishi like... effect I was telling you yeah. about. Rikishi? That's, not that's the Rikishi wow. effect. Yuri, Yuri, I mean, not Yuri. Blazzy has this whole. You know what? Like Blazzy needs needs to start naming his like philosophies. Like the each, dude that's the Rikishi, Rikishi right? effect. Yeah, that's Rikishi. Yeah, yeah. yeah Rikishi. A, the yeah, fact that like you don't really have anything good to say about Rikishi, but you still. F him. 
What do you you feel me? I never heard you? anyone give yeah. Rikishi a compliment. I'm like, damn, Rikishi's you. ass is looking fat today. Or no, like, people have given, given him his but flowers who, many but times. But who's saying they, like, fuck with him, though? That's what I'm saying. But every, Every, I fuck with Rikishi, though. You know what I'm saying? All, all to say that, like, you know, like, deep down inside, they like, really with cool. it. And, like, honestly, I didn't know that many people were going to... Uh, care i'll be real with you man it kind of like nah, it surprised me and it, it was very that's encouraging cap. and just to see all like the the meme pages and I know. all these different Shout out to the meme fucking pages. accounts yeah, just out to all being the created supporters and the people who are yeah. like looking yeah that's just it. that's just hella dope man but yeah. it's definitely inspiring and it kind of just motivates us to like do this shit bro we I, I as of right now i think we're at like 9.3k subscribers so yeah. and, this and, and, and this is our episode. first episode and this to, is crazy and to tail on that um like yeah, you said earlier, like we set this up in like less than a week. Like yeah. literally, bro. Why we set this up in like three days? Literally ordered stuff and got it set up with it. You know, we got everything set up actually today. You cleared yeah. everything out the other day, and then we got everything, uh, you know, set up and put it put together today. But Mr. Split there's a lot himself. of yes, space for for upgrades. Like you guys know, we probably don't have headphones yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, you know, definitely. all that stuff will be coming very yeah, soon. Yeah, so you guys have to, we have to all be hella conscious of talking over each other. It sounds so. Like I like until we started doing podcasting ourselves, uh -huh. I never noticed when I watched other podcasts how bad like yeah. it's almost unbearable to watch. You can't you know focus yeah. on four people's conversations. At you once. It's four, impossible. Like, yeah, but exactly. to keep real with you, I don't think I've ever done like the headphone thing. You always, no, we always, always tell you. Yeah, you yeah. We always make you put them on. Which is why it's what I'm talking week. about. Which is why you drag us down every week. No, <laughs> <laughs> hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you ruin the show every week. Honestly, you know? I, I feel like uh, I feel like not using headphones kind of like builds your tolerance to like oh, not no. stop. You know what I'm no. saying? Like no, you you're, just you just talk over your over yeah. everybody. I've never realizing. talked over. Sometimes anybody. we're talking no. about serious shit. You're like saying wisdom quotes like randomly yeah. into the corner. <laughs> yeah. You're in the corner like listen. So chicken with spray. <laughs> yeah. or, hey, I'm sorry for sharing game. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh my god, man. But, okay, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, man. Y'all cleared this out in how many days? Uh, so we, sorry. Uh, oh. So I was here with with my wife and my daughter on Monday, and then the help of some of the sandbox crew and, and this place as well. was like a storage we unit. We, yeah, we cleared it all out on Monday. You could not even walk through here. It was yeah. like there was a Snorlax and I, boxes uh, and, and I've packages on. that fell off the truck. Like it was a. Bunch That's of where th yeah. this is where all your packages. <laughs> you when, they, when they fall off the truck, they end up right here. They they end up right here. No, I, I mean, I think like the ironic part is like literally the week before this whole shit happened, we had got a new warehouse, mm -hmm. right? And that was just for the fact that like we could no longer ship out of here. It's not really a sustainable idea to like to move shit from a second floor. You feel yeah. me? So we decided to just kind of move all that to the next spot. And this was going to be like a living room area, really. Bro, you know? I've slept on that couch so many the times. The couch is comfy, but it's Hell. also like, I don't know. I have it so it's like it's not too comfortable for people to like really lay down on it. It's Where'd just comfortable it? enough. It's in my room right now. I thought in my main room. Wow, you do that thing that LA does to the homeless people where they add spikes. To yeah, it's anti-design. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Things where he's they like, I don't want my homies falling asleep on here. the bus stop uh, now. That's, that's it, why that's in super insensitive. That's why that's why there's no uh, um there's no couches really in that other room cuz you like, don't want your employees sleeping here or being comfortable. Like uh, I get it you don't want people to sleep up. at the bus stop but like putting spikes on the bus stop is crazy, bro. Poor E sitting on the floor as he's editing over here. Plastic <laughs> <laughs> can't provide. He's over here running a sweat sweatshop. <laughs> no, but I do want to say one thing though. So like look, here's like the official timeline, right? So like mm -hmm. Okay. Third I, I think we uh uh we we came to action like Sunday we're like okay, let's all link up. Let's right. go ahead and just make a Close. Let, that but let's make a shopping list of all the things that we need that was the first yeah. thing we did. a through z and all this like cosmetic like aesthetic shit like that's all shit that we already had at the office mm -hmm. we got put together we created the logo you yeah. feel me you kind of created it like just off the rip basically. just off the rip okay. i mean there's only so many ways you could like remix double b's yeah it was me? such a good idea with I'm the hands not, in the middle shape yeah. i'm not gonna lie we need to make the bullet like, you the have balance. the biggest who who so we we're dropping glasses soon. We, yeah, yeah the, the biggest bro glasses coming soon. Whoa. We should make sunglasses like this. That'd be definitely crazy. like you know. Definitely. I'm How shy see would it be if we just dropped those same glasses and said Balenciaga yeah, says biggest bro? <laughs> that'll be that's, a fucking rip off. That'll be that fine. Just yeah. said, let's do that. Is that a yeah, lawsuit? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a cease and desist waiting to happen. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. Is that <laughs> not cease and desist? See, Sorry, it, guys. Yeah, yeah. That's a little Caesars waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah, bro. Cease and desist. It's not a pizza, <laughs> bro. Make fun of the dude who set up the whole table. And that's what I say. Oh, here we go. The pity continues. Yeah. <laughs> 
left to pity back at the old office, bro. <laughs> Uh, what the right, fuck? Something's never fuck changed. Yuri? Nah, but you're y- sick with that. Like you won't even like oh give us a God. chance. <laughs> you're just like no. Wait, We're... can we speak on something also very important? Which is that was crazy. This is the first episode, and it's also not live. And I'm yeah. sure there mm-hmm. are people in the live premiere right now, or however we post this, going, "This is supposed to be live. We will eventually do this live, right?" Yeah, yeah we, we want to do it. Yeah. We we had to start off with a test run. We had to see where we where we have to make improvements and stuff like that. Exactly. Like you you guys got to remember that like, you know like I won't say that we like, I mean if we're being honest like as a podcaster we kind of had it good as far as like we just showed up and just spit facts and then le- left. And that's right. we had to not worry about no technical parts of no jumper at all in any type of way. Exactly. And this is what I was Well, yeah. Yuri, that was your, your original job though at first. Well, yeah. all, we, uh, we had well, Yuri, I, you had a lot of jobs we, there. We meant we <laughs> I, we talked about this when we were talking about, you know, making Bigs Brothers where I was saying like, guys, at you know, reconnected, we just show up, we have a good time, we leave. Now we got to show up, have a good time and then do all the back end work ourselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's I'm ready be, for it though. Honestly, I'm ready though, to work. Yeah, and and like to be honest, one thing that we have going for us is that we have so many people that are willing to do stuff for us already. Yeah. Like, no, it's a big community. We got people that are, are willing to make the timestamps, people willing to make the clips, mm-hmm. people, you know, the fucking meme pages literally converting from no jumper that, meme pages into big that was insane. crazy. Biggest That's crazy. Pages. We ne- and just for the record, we never asked know, anybody bro. to do that. I know. I just want to thank everybody for like literally for just like the genuine love and support, man. I want to actually. Yeah. I want to talk about something. Yeah. All right, talk about. I'm not it. sure if you guys saw this or not. I posted Probably. my IG story, uh-huh. but yesterday was Valentine's Day. And, was it? Uh, Yes. What the fuck? Come on. Are you kidding me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's also going to be like, bro. Anyway, yesterday was Valentine's Day, and uh, Riley uh, got a little surprise for me where she had planned this little event. It was basically like a live event slash dinner type thing That's or whatever fire. it is, but it was like um, like hipsterish type vibe or whatever it is. Like you could imagine it being well, what, in Silver Lake. What you know? was it like? So basically, we go there and it says like live jazz, and it said um, what was the thing with the naked women? Um, burlesque. It was, there's gonna be like some burlesque Ooh. shit as well. And uh, are are they usually naked in burlesque? Nah, well, they, they have like nipple tassels. Yeah, they have like nipple tassels. Yeah. Fire. And uh, so we went over there, and then like we're uh, you know having a good time, like chilling, drinking, and then um, bro, it was such a funny. So experience. there's like nipples flapping around as you're like there, eating your pasta. There was. <laughs> yeah. Fire. But it was funny because at first it started off with this one dude who was like trying to be funny and like none of his jokes were hitting. And like, like, so it's, like, oh, it's a yes, but it's a small, <laughs> in, intimate room audience where oh, he's like God. saying shit. This sounds exactly waiting like Waiting for a cool, funny, like, haha, response. And it's just like crickets. And it was like hella moments like that where I don't know if he was doing my purpose at a certain point. But then uh, later on, um, two magicians come out and they try to do magic tricks. That's fire. Their first magic trick fails. It doesn't work on anyone. Is this like Poppy Blanco's new, new, <laughs> no, uh, no. new job? It was like a married couple who were magicians. They came through, did two magic tricks. One of them worked. The first one didn't at all. And yeah. it was just like, we were like, bro, this is the most scuffed show what, ever. What it was, I'm not going to lie. That's mad embarrassing how, for a magician. Bro. But how does a magician not work? What are you talking about? So yeah, they basically, right? they did this trick where they like handed out cards to the audience and they were supposed to choose or uh, predict like, the cards of the audience and mm-hmm. they got no one's card right. Oh, that's no embarrassing. One? No that's one. embarrassing. Not even one. <laughs> not even one. Don't imagine it away, dude. You would expect dude. them Sorry. to get one person's card. They got no one's. Everyone's like looking around confused. Like, did we do this right? And then, uh, anyways, then they bring on this dude who was known as the Spanish Frank Sinatra, what and he fuck? was like singing Frank Sinatra songs like covers, but he was like missing hella it's words. Up to you. He was missing hella no. words though. It's like I can imagine like my dad like trying to sing a Frank Sinatra song and like <laughs> instead of saying like you are beautiful like it's like you beautiful where, hold you know, on. just like missing certain key words One that second. make English not like you know work oh. where the fuck <laughs> did you even find this place Riley found Riley. This Riley and this is their third uh, thing ever Riley doesn't have a mic this time oh Eventbrite Eventbrite and then they like oh, at a certain point the burlesque lady comes out too yeah on, honestly on some real shit like all I do with my girl is like go eat and come back to the crib. Bro, we can tell you that was honest, a fun experience. Fun. I was telling Riley, I was like, dude, it was funny and it was like, you know, little parts were scuffed, but I was like, that was like a fun experience at the end. And it's not just because we had nipple tassels flying around while we're eating <laughs> pasta, but 
it was just like a fun experience. And I asked the person after the owner and I was like, yo, is, like, is it okay if I come back and stream it? He's like, yeah, come back. I would love it, blah, blah. Mm. So Ooh. I want to go back there and stream it. You'll like get kicked off of YouTube with the titties out. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, that sounds well, fun. YouTube gone. I'll tell the tassel lady to stay home. Um, Damn. But I've never been to a thing with Nigga, like. Nigga, she's not about to stay home and miss yeah, her job. Like, she's like, yo, Yuri's streaming tonight, guys. We're off. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, like, who the fuck is this? What the fuck? Hey, but, they, but the dude was also saying, he's like, dude, he's like, uh, if anyone ever wants to rent the stage out or whatever, let us know, blah, blah. Like, it's a cool what, little a spot. What does know? that even mean, rent the stage? Like, yeah, like, well, it's like if you want to throw a little. To, you're trying to start practicing. If you want to throw a titty party. Or? Right, with tassels like it, it does a live it... reconnected. I don't know in the future, wow. which is burlesque. Not a bad with idea. The burlesque, yo, <laughs> yo, That's a great idea. And and like scuffed magicians. Nah, we'll we'll, we'll eventually make it to the Novo. Mm. We're gonna start off at what's the name of this place? The Zalleyway, Skip, Skip Town. Town. Skip Town Playhouse. Playhouse. That's we're gonna we're gonna start off at Skip Town Playhouse. But I'm not That's gonna lie, we gotta get the magician that Blasi had for his stream. No, 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 no. We that need, was good. No, we need the fucked up magician. The scuffed ones. Yeah, that's okay. the whole point. Nah, we, I love a good scuffed magician. What if the actual that guy at your at but, your house seemed like he but he looks scuffed, doing. but, but he what, knows his magic. What right? if the yeah. actual trick is that he's not a magician? That just messed then up. He, he, he did a really good job. He was doing magic tricks. They did a bad job. Hey, yo, That's speaking of the Novo and, uh, you know, pr doing live shows or whatever, congratulations to the Brown Bag. Yeah, shout, shout out, yeah. out to the Brown, Brown Bag. Bag. That shit's crazy, bro. Wow, they bro. Are now that shit's huge. Morning news hosts, which is like coming from bro. growing up in L.A. Imagine that's that, a bro. Huge yeah, that's crazy. Deal. That's crazy. I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, you know, Duno being only 22, fool. Like, <laughs> For he's real. accomplished so much in life, bro. He and you know hurt. why, bro? Because he genuinely is just a good spirited person to be around. For real. He's fucking hilarious. And, like, his positive energy just radiates. Like, I've never I've seen him. I've never like seen him. Ang like, when he tells these stories about fighting and, like, all this gangster shit, I'm like, bro, you are the coolest motherfucker that I, I know. like. Like, I, I could never see you. Like, that's why anybody yeah. that doesn't like Duno. Like it's an internal problem. It's an in. It's a, I, I was about to say some wild shit, but then I thought about it. Like, <laughs> like I live in the area yeah. that they don't get along. <laughs> he, so let me shut the fuck up. And he never comes off bitter or like angry. Like, and also, yeah, when he's talking about something he's gone through, he's like, "Yeah, fool, like they stopped me out, haha." <laughs> you know, like laughs about yeah. it. And shit. Bro, he even told me like, "Oh, nah, fool, I can't come visit you, dog." But like. Cause like where I live, I guess it's like oh, not. No. Uh, Damn. Yeah, it's not. Damn. Not the best area for him to be in, but. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, shout out to Duno in the Brown by podcast because yeah, that's a man. really huge accomplishment, man. I remember just going to school every morning, listening to Power One Hundred Six, fucking. Uh, big boy in the morning doing like prank calling niggas like he's Luther oh Buffet God. and shit, bro. Yeah. Like Dude, the guy all that shit is just crazy, bro. That's crazy, man. So shout show. out to you guys, man, for real. At the same time. Sorry. Okay, what happened though? I was saying the guy who makes Blazzy's pants is on the morning Ooh. show now. <laughs> Rose oh, Grant. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> nah, yeah. honestly, Reloaded's have have met the uh, Power One Hundred Six bro, uh, think radio of, station. Bro, I think we might have had something to do with the the popularity of the Reloaded. <laughs> this promo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we honestly did, bro. <laughs> I'm just playing, yo. Shut up. Hey, Rose no, Grant's no. big go fuck you up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he go, he go no, next no, week to go think, get no, off no, on no, house phone. Rose Grant's big. First of all, Rosecrans Vic fucks with us, man. Like he just, uh, you know, what I'm saying he just, he is taking that joke very well. Have you talked yeah, to him man. ever since all these jokes? Oh yeah, been? I have. I, I, I literally talked to him like on the timeline. Okay. All the yeah, time. I talked mm. to him. I talked to him. Sorry, on the that weekly. just threw me off hella. Like these niggas are rumbling up the stairs. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you thought it was, you thought it was stair girls? Yeah, they <laughs> they came up. They're like, yo, let's be as loud as possible. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's fucked God up. Goddamn. They God like damn. they like bunny hopped up the stairs like. You, no, no, he was like, yo, this is how I smashed the laptop. Oh, no, there you go. He's going to fuck you up at the end. He's like, yeah, you're going to be done filming soon. You're going to beat your ass. <laughs> no, I'm going to smash my jeans. Hell so, yeah, yo, from Vic. first episode of Reconnected, <laughs> our very first uh, drip check. Ooh, Ooh, I forgot we even do these bitches. What you mean you forgot, nigga? You came drip I'm, But I haven't been on camera in like three weeks, you know? That's mm, true. Let you been a minute. I've been on vacation. You've been traveling the world, bro. Nah. Not no You've world. been traveling in a two no. state radius. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Low key. All right, all right, all right. Well, since you want to announce it, you got to start, start it off. off. If you want to tell it, I really came to uh, crawl under tables and set up and, clear and put wires together today. So I did not expect to, you know, really. Uh, but listen, you're real certified drippers. If you know that you're about to do something, you know, uh, 
You knew you were going to be on camera today. Yeah, so yeah, like. I, I did, but then also I didn't think about it too ahead of time. I was more thinking, like, I'm probably going to be on the floor more. Pause. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. Getting all dusty and shit. But, no, but that's why you just bring, like, a change of shirt or change of pants. Facts. Um, Yuri doesn't care about the drip that much to even think about that. I forgot who sent these to me, but someone in the Harmonious Gang Jesus. sent these Niger Houston's to me a long time ago in the uh, P.O. box. Clearly. And I've been, they're my go to's. Like, I fucking love wearing these. Uh, I've never seen you wear those. They're before. just, that's I crazy. wear them all the time. But they're just, like, hella, I don't know, comfortable and uh, easy to put on and shit. Um, these Roots sweats. Shout out to Space Goes Doug Ferb. This Nothing Personal jacket. And uh, an Ass Pizza Harmonious Man t shirt underneath. I had another jacket on, but it's redacted. I can't wear it anymore. Yeah. Definitely not that you can't wear it anymore, just don't wear it on this show. Yeah. I was telling how like I used to fuck with bro. I'm like I have multiple of those sweatsuits in different colors and all of that. And also the it's just so comfortable. Bro, the pants are even better. <laughs> oh shit. Nah, you gotta get the redacted pants. And and the, 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 the pants don't have the logo on them, so you're able to get away with it. Mm, nah, I need to get the pants. Solid. Yeah. For anyone one day. And who- they have sorry, real quick. And they have a big extra pocket on the front of them. The actual, they're not sweats, they're pants, pants. No, they're sweatpants. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. With the but, pocket? Yeah, but it, like, it matches the, the hoodies. Oh, but okay. for anyone wondering who he's talking about, no, he's no, talking no, about no, 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 no. Rose Grants Reloaded. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd rather no. just shout the homie out. No, the reason, shout out why, Rose Vic, man, the reason why I told Yuri to take off this redacted hoodie is because the last two times that I wore them, I checked my message request and it was flooded with people uh, saying some pretty bad allegations about said designer so i uh i don't want that to, it. i don't want that to happen to yuri and i also don't want our show to get canceled off rip just what's because crazy th- yo, 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 yo. Yeah, what's okay. crazy though is i wore that same jacket during uh redacted redact necked before <laughs> maybe this, this is before good. the allegations or something i don't know but <laughs> i'm just redact telling you it like i don't crazy. know why you were like trying to fight this i'm just telling you to like no i'm not give trying to you fight it you just yeah, keep just letting like, it go. Okay, yeah, just, well, I'm burning that jacket, dude. That's the no, not even first that. article I'm of clothing like, you guys are making me get rid of, but okay, I'm going to no, get rid I'm of this. I'm just letting you know because I don't want you to look like fucking a supporter of a, a child. Yuri molester. Weinstein. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. All right. All right, uh, Blasi. Right drip there. check, bro. <laughs> right, See you, man. So we got a, uh, I, I got some uh, uh, some black so, Tims. You got some reload uh, reloaded Tims on. Yeah, and I got some. Uh, uh, some are these Tims or those? Uh, fuck, come on, fuck you bro! Want. You keep trying to play me like that. No, I didn't know. If they and were I got f- huff sauce now that you mentioned it. I didn't know if they were f- uh, fuck you want. Oh uh, no, nah, they're, they're Timberland or, brand. And then I got the uh, the purple minimal pants. Those are the minimal. hardest minimal pants. The minimal they- pants are crazy, bro. Uh, man, shout out to minimal man, shout good minimal. people, and the uh, um, FTP shirt. Okay. And uh, uh, I it's a uh, button up, and I believe that's it. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. I know, yeah. Line up by who? By Ezo Cuts. Shout out to Ezo. Bless up, bless down. Shout out Ezo. Um, <coughs> shit, I was gonna fuck it. <coughs> we got, uh, you know what I'm saying? Got the purple lobster SBs. <coughs> oh. Uh, bathing ape <coughs> socks. You came dripping today. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I'm gonna hold you. This is the first episode. I had to I had to set the standard so that every week from now on I have to like actually because at some point I got tired as fuck and I'm like man I got over like getting dressed every week I was on my yeah. Yuri shit just like yeah I just pull up with like my like crusty sweatpants on with burrito stains oh, on the front thanks, thanks. and some fucking like beat up Janowski's on burrito like, stains. You know? Yo, honestly, I just realized we could change the color of that, the behind of that, the glow, to match your fit every every episode. <laughs> it's matching right now. No, right exactly. There. Okay, look. So then, boom. Uh, Purple Oster FCs. Um, what's the, I forgot. Blazy Loaded. These are these are the Blazy like. If, Unloaded. <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are the re, these are the Blazy redips. The redipped. You know these what? These are the something personals. <laughs> nah, listen. Like these are the French dips. Like the like 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 the the French dip like beef sandwich where they oh, like dip yes, the yes. dip the sandwich in the in Philippe's. the in the Shout to Philippe's. I just had that shit for the first time last week. You did? But listen, that's what they did with these jeans. These are look, these are regular denim on the inside, like they're regular denim. Oh yeah. And then they literally just dipped them in the wax to make them <laughs> wax jeans like this. That's so, crazy. Oh, sorry for disrespecting the very familiar looking table. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, so, now we found. Can we just talk about the table for a second? Wait, wait. Let, can, let me let me t- the table's more yeah. important. Let, <laughs> me, let me land all the way. Take out Quavo. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We got the peep game. Shout out to my boy Steve, man. We got the peep game. Uh, vets. You know. Is that saying? a BMX brand? Yeah, actually, yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Huh. Hmm. 
Fire. He might uh, be friends with uh, somebody that we used to work with. Anyway, what got, the fuck this, are you talking some about? Weird shit. I, 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 <laughs> what the I'll explain later. But it's some weird shit. Jeez. But shout out to my boy Steve. Uh, we got the Supreme, uh, fucking Hanes, uh, V, uh, not V neck, but thermal. Okay. And then some random fucking Atlanta hat. Let's go. Going crazy. Hell yeah. So, um, uh, let's see, man. We got, we got the high rollers hoodie, <laughs> high rollers fitted. Sierra pants. Yeah, don't take that fitted off. And uh, <laughs> nigga got a chili. Nigga got a chili bowl underneath and his OG shit. OG high rollers. <laughs> Let's go. You got an OG bowl of Tommy's chili on your head. So, oh, oh, Blasi, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, talk about the table. What's up with it? I want to say one thing about the table, man. We found this at a uh, at this garage sale. Mm. Did you? No, okay. Now we found honestly saw it at right? <laughs> 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 now we saw it on offer. I'm like, you know, we need to get this bitch. It kind of looks familiar, and it kind of got like a good ass vibe to it. And I had to uh, accessorize it with Ash Army Ashley on top. Listen, I mean, it looks dope though. Yeah, I like it. I miss it. Is it even a podcast if you don't got an Ash Army Ashley on the table? It's not. It's nah, not. It's you know not. What I'm saying? And honestly, all this shit, this is shit that we already had. You feel me? So I feel like the set already kind of got his own personality. This is dope. We got the posters on the walls. Yeah. yeah bro. And we got the logo uh, made into a decal like within fucking a couple days. Yeah, which is super fire, bro. Yeah. All right, listen. So we got to figure out. I think I want people to like. Um, you guys gotta check like the description, or we're gonna have to throw it on Instagram or something for the uh-huh. PO box. But like, I want to have that. an open PO box. I thought you had one already. Uh, you might call Chris for a second. Uh, we're gonna have open PO box, and I kind of want to see what people if they have any products or anything they want to go ahead and showcase on here. But this is just shit so that you we want. Had. You want more than just like a T-shirt or a hoodie. Like, oh, I, you want people to send some cool yeah, shit. We some cool and that, shit. that's another thing too. I think like now that we do this on here, I think we yeah. could just implement like a PO box system where people could send us some shit. You know what I mean? And like they could, sh- we could review this shit on on fucking on YouTube or TV, or whatever yeah. it is. You know? Yeah, yeah. And you know what? We should bring back the drip checks. And we should have people. Uh, we should have people fucking uh, use the reconnected hashtag, and then we look at it. Yes, literally yes, during yes. the show. Also, I I think uh, uh, shout out to all the meme hey, and the uh, the blog up, pages and shit like that. But like now it's now there's like a good like dozen or two that are just like BBE news. Yo, what's our PO box? Uh, nine, twelve, eight, twelve, six. Hold on, hold on. Keep all right, is uh our, our PO box guys is nine twelve East Twelfth Street. That makes no sense. Hold on, hold on. Sweet B. You want to just text it to Blasi or something and you can just read it off? Yeah, yeah. Here. Hold on. I'm going to have it right here. Like I said, we're working the little kinks out. And this is why we do not do this live. No, no, right here. 912 East 12th Street, Sweet B, number 113. There we go. Let's go. 912 East 12th Street, 912 East 12th Street. Sweet B 113. Jeez, we're not getting advertised. Los Angeles, California, 90021. <laughs> so listen, man. Make sure. We locked in. Listen, um, we'll, we'll go around the table and like drop our sizes and shit like that, but send us whatever. Yeah, like, exactly. don't feel shy if you fucking are, you know, starting a fucking basketball company or you make custom basketballs. Facts. Uh-huh. Send, send us, us some. Whatever. If you uh start or if you're making custom dildos, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, send dude. those in. <laughs> Yeah, all that shit. <laughs> whatever it is, like, okay, so let's we'll start around. Start from Yuri and go around the table. Of, of the sizes, I'm yeah. uh, large size I mean, thirty two pants and size ten and a half shoes. There Just fuck with me on the XL, man. XL all, all yeah. around. What about shoes? XL, XL. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. He I hope like somebody sends you like a. That's that's why. Why. I hope somebody sends you like a size sixteen shoe or something. Just, <laughs> you have to wear them for one episode. Uh, I'll fuck with them. Fuck it. I'm gonna go seven and a half hat, Ooh, just in oh, case. Wow. Seven and a half fitted, XL top, large slash thirty six bottom, mm-hmm. nine and a half sneakers. Oh, toast. Good. Uh, so size, size one on everything. Size small. four and a half on shoes. First of all, I'm a large, large top, extra small, thirty two pants, and size eight shoes. 
Aww. and then reload it <laughs> on your jeans. Hey, but uh, <laughs> these are Sierra pants. Shout out Sierra. Unlo- look like somebody unloaded on Shout your Sierra, jeans. Man. <laughs> but I, I was thinking about that earlier. Is like, yeah, we need to bring back the drip checks or whatever. Uh, we have an Instagram page, official uh-huh. Instagram yeah. page. Um, what is the official Instagram page? You created it, or you no, did? I, I forgot I did. who it did. Hold on, hold on, I got it. I got it. Just keep talking though. It's okay, but anyway, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's biggest bros entertainment. We're working on a lot of stuff. The main point to us, or the main goal to us, was just to get this up and out as soon as possible because right. it's like a lot of people are asking for it you know then it's just like we just wanted to get it started basically Bro, at this point I'm, and we're gonna have uh yeah a lot of more shit coming i'm super happy just like how this all turned out how it looks now bro like mm-hmm. from like from just from like looking from how we started and it's like now everything is working properly and everything is going good so man, no, I'm proud should... of all of us like sitting right here man and i just hope like our future is really gonna go good man okay wait 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 but the end in- okay the instagram is uh the Instagram is Biggest Bros with an S Entertainment, and then the YouTube is Biggest Bro, no S, no S. Entertainment. And what is the TikTok? Didn't make it yet. Wow, that's crazy. I asked Mac to make it. He's like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it after I'm done eating. Nah, Mac's definitely gonna be something we're gonna use. Also, like the use? day before. <laughs> but like, listen, listen, like, what's up? We're like on a time schedule. We're on like a very last minute type thing. Mm. So it's like, if I'm asking you to make the TikTok. Is because people are gonna grab the name if you don't make it right now. So yes. that's why I was asking yeah. him, and like I had to kind of like do a bunch of shit yesterday, but I'm like on my own because he wasn't getting this urgent sense of urgency. Yeah. That like, bro, as soon as we announce this shit, people are gonna like you've seen how many fucking no the oh, moment yeah, Mac Mac is so the moment crazy, I'm bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying like I'm like, around, Mac. like shout out to Mac. He's shout been helping us do segments and shit for a long time. No, you're right. Did you see how many people were making? Yeah, that's yeah what the I'm like, the we, moment got to be on it like on shit urgently. The moment that logo was posted, I think I got followed by like six. One of them said like, "You want to buy this page, motherfucker?" Right. I was like, "Damn, damn. Right, bro. Bro. niggas ready to extort." Yeah, already. like yeah, bro. Another friend texted me, "Hey, bro, by the way, I have this one safe for you if you want it." I'm like, "What's going on, right?" Bro, now? that oh, shit is wild. Bro. I mean, that's some real. It's called like domain parking or something. It's like called that. niggas is extorting you. That's what it's called. No, for that's real. That's wild, bro. That's wild. And that's why you got to be it's careful extortion. with extortion. That's what it's called. Fuck all that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got this shit locked in, but no, we're going to start implementing the drip checks and shit in. like that for the next yeah. one. Yeah, switching up on God. And yeah, also, but- uh, we were talking about how we want to, once we start streaming or whatever, we're going to have the podcast, but then also we're going to have like after show type thing. Not, it doesn't right. even have to be an after show, but just streams cool. where we can actually read the chat, communicate with people, and make it more of like a live stream vibe more, rather than a podcast. Okay, you know? wait. Facts. I have an idea. But I have to run this idea by Riley first before because I don't want her to get mad at you for being involved. Okay. We're biggest bros and we have strippers come one night and be biggest hoes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, that I'll, sounds insane. I'll be in redacted land at that point. I was just playing, I'm sorry. <laughs> this nigga is He wanted he wanted to uh was, check the temperature. Yeah, I was just checking the temperature. Checking the temperature. Right? Or or we can make like an uh only feet account called Biggest Toes. Only feet? Wow. Maybe I'll, maybe you could do that one. Yeah, yeah you should do it. I would say you should right do that, bro. Whichever one has the Let biggest toes here. No, no one's trying to see oh, the that's feet. Crazy. Come on, bro. No, but you know what I am trying to see though? The, has, like, the motherfuckers toes, uh I'm just trying to see if if they're like Sellable feet. No, bro. We're not sure. <laughs> How them. would you no. know? No, on, we're not sure. No, no, yeah, I don't want to. How is no one no. ever we're trying to get st- only we're, toes? We're trying yet. to stay monetized here. Oh, yeah. And right? I'm trying to stay, like, not throwing up. Wow, no, you think no. my feet are going to make you throw up? I, I think tonight, yes. yeah, for sure. I, like, <laughs> I think tonight. I feel like you probably haven't washed them in about. <laughs> I actually showered this morning before I came here. But, but, but like, do you bend over? And like really, what? Like, and like use the towel or something. Yeah, shit I, actually I actually do. I actually do. I've I've heard people before. A lot of guys just like don't like even bother water, washing like, their legs. I'm like, no, I wash everybody, especially my feet, because my feet be. <laughs> I'm, I walk barefoot in my house all the time, so it's just like they be collecting dirt. You got it. So you touching your toes in the shower, wet, bent over. What do you, wait, what? no one else is in there with me. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Scrub it between your toes, yo. Y'all yeah, niggas dude. Is sick, and man. that's that's so, kind of pause, so not, bro. Hold so on. not cleaning your feet is the sick part. No, no. no. How about like raise your like leg up or something? I think shit? it's yeah, just know, that's even fall. more crazy, right? I think it's just pause. You're just raw dogging your fucking your your floor like that, bro. Yeah. You gotta put some socks on. Yeah. I, well, sometimes it's hot, or like my no, I'm not gonna sweaty. lie. Like no, socks what are you talking like about? These, like these are babe socks, bro. I'm not. I, I can't be. Walking around the crib like gathering dirt on, exactly. the, on the pink babe socks. What's wrong with house shoes? What happened to house shoes? <laughs> they make a mess. 
they do. I'm they not listening. If, if I'm at my crib, I I am not putting shoes on. That's the no, that's why. Okay. Like, yeah. I might be at someone's. No I might just shoes. take the shoes off naturally at someone's house. It's I so hard that. for me to push the rule of oh, take I your shoes off at the door. I raw dog. I raw dog your couch. Of that's like, what, what do you mean raw dog? With your toes? That's the yeah. disgusting. You raw dog no, my kitchen nah. before? No. Yeah, you shit it on the homie's floor. <laughs> yeah. but in his you kitchen where he homies. eats meals. <laughs> Hell no. Like that's crazy. No. We have to cook there, dude. Like, and well, you, guess what? And you're, you're talking and about me taking my fucking socks off. Sorry. And on, you know what? Actually, uh, a couple weeks back, you were here doing a fucking live stream. You better had your socks on. Nah, he was definitely. I didn't know. I was not. I walked with my shoes on the whole time in here, bro. He, bro. He's did like you see that live stream? He was miserable in here. He was miserable. I mean, he told me that he, uh, he spoke. I still haven't talked to the team about like what the testimonials were, but I'm, I'm gonna figure it out one day. For I sure. feel like me and you was on Facetime for like an hour. I was. Uh, I, I, oh yeah, I forgot. Like we were, yeah, we were morning. on Facetime at one point. I forgot about that. But no, I was miserable because I was dealing with so many technical issues, especially later in the morning technical when when everyone issue. came uh, came here or whatever. The yeah. internet was not working and all this shit. I swear it's like a ghost or something, dude. Because everyone left. I was here by myself, so I would I should have the best inter- internet. They possible. left you in here by yourself. Yes, they trusted me. And then uh, what, what's the worst thing you could do? Shit fucking walk your personal shit, lo- shit on your kitchen floor. <laughs> shit in your personal location. I don't know. Just in here fucking the designs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just go to your computer and delete all recent files. No, nah, I feel like he'll be like stealing my batteries or some shit. Oh, or like my extension oh, cord. Like, yeah, some type of cord that you're gonna need like way later on. <laughs> He's gonna be you... stealing my dongle. Yeah. Not, oh, <laughs> I'll for sure take a dongle. dongle. Yeah, that's, that's a that's like a unforgivable offense. Yeah. No, it's an fade. offense you're never gonna know who did. Like three years, three months down the line, you're just gonna be like, "Where's my dog?" Nah, fuck at? all that because you know what? I'm the type of nigga that put a little X in the back somewhere. And I know that I'm not using mine. that dongle in front of you. No, I'll tell you. <laughs> That's I'll, a home dongle. I'll tell you one thing though. I can identify all my dongle. chargers <laughs> by like a couple scratches. Yeah, exactly. That's, That's crazy. You didn't have the scratch on your shit, bro. Oh, Look bro. at my, my shit was or this like, curve. Or like, bitch, like my shit was like you know a little dirty and it was darker. And honestly, it was darker at the end. You know what? I, I got a new phone the other day, and I realized they don't, they don't get. Yeah, I had an upgrade. I had like some shit for like 2019. My shit was beat the fuck up. So my I shit beat the fuck up. Right I had now. to get some new shit, but look, bro, I you didn't realize. Talking to the mic. I didn't realize they didn't have the fucking uh, uh what the the little plug the shit you connect. What you they mean? only give you the cord, dude. You know, oh, hey, Blazzy, yeah. Blazzy. You know what's funny is literally months ago on another podcast, I was complaining about how iPhone is doing this now, and okay. a lot of other people are complaining. And then you do the old Blazzy thing, like you can't control anything. Why are you complaining about it? And then uh-huh. here you are suffering, <laughs> where you're like, you buy a phone, expect it to come with the fucking uh, cube to charge it. They're like, no, 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 it's another forty, fifty. It bucks. just came with. Bro, just no way the you cord. remembered that. Yeah, I did because it pissed me off. Because you were like, oh, you're tripping. I'm <laughs> but like, look, no, you're, you're doing- tripping. You're, you're still the only. Head, one, uh, <laughs> you're still the only one pissed off, though. Look, are you not I'm upset? Chilling. No, I'm. You know, I'll have a charger around. There's one in my car. There's oh one by my, my bed. God. You know, okay, all right. mm. millionaire Blazzy just has chargers. Hey, wait, and I, ain't gonna, li- everywhere. No. I ain't gonna lie. If your if your car takes like USB C, then that shit charges fast as fuck. Though. That's true. USB C. If, if your car takes USB C, then that should. If y'all could stop shit. talking at the same time, that would be amazing. We, we are phones. I'm literally yeah. listening to all of y'all just jump in at different times. Riley's the at only the one wearing time. headphones. What does she think? Are we talking over one another? It's just like y'all all just like get excited and just like rrr, 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 all at the same time. No. Right, the fuck? You heard I'm my... literally listening to y'all do it. You heard my feelings. No, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. Let them talk. No, just like, <laughs> like, it's like a, it's a double dutch game. You got to like know when to jump in. You can't just, just start talking over the homie. No, I'm chilling in this shit, honestly. Oh, go crazy. I don't, I don't think I'm talking over anybody, man. I'm not talking about just you. It's three other people at the table, Blasi. I'm talking oh, about Two fight, other. like fight, I'm just fight, saying, like, listen, listen. Two other. We don't have headphones, so we just got to be extra careful about it. That's all I'm saying. Okay? All right, all right. Okay. Let's keep it pushing. That's Here's what I'm saying. I'm saying: is the yeah. new Harry Potter game that came out? Oh my god, is <laughs> fire! I did a tw- everybody been talking. I did a 24 hour stream where I stayed up, did not go to sleep. I stayed up for 24 hours playing that game the whole time on stream, and. I literally, like, as soon as I ended the stream, I went over to my couch. I fell asleep immediately. Woke up two and a half hours later, hopped right back on the computer and kept playing. Yeah, and then, like, went, back, and then went back to sleep, like, a little bit later. But that <laughs> shit is addicting. It's so much fun. You don't feel uh, uh, guilty for uh, um, playing that game? What? Well, for what? the full 24 hours, not really because I was on stream. But then after... Uh, They're after- trying to cancel uh, uh, Harry Potter. Bro, okay, can I squeak Wait, on this? Wait, why are they trying to cancel him? Let me squeak on this. 
uh, because <laughs> J.K. Rowling, the creator of Harry Potter, right? I look like J.K. Rowling. And uh, I was talking to this about uh, to, uh, about this to Riley the other day, where I have spent the last three to four years of my life thinking that J.K. Rowling was a transphobe because I've seen it in the news and stuff like that. And that's why they don't like Harry Potter is because apparently J.K. Rowling, the creator of Harry Potter, is a transphobe. Yeah. Okay. I looked into what she said, her transphobic remarks. It's literally nothing crazy. She basically said that if you're a dude who transitioned to a woman, you shouldn't be able to use women's restrooms. It's a little bit uncomfortable for the, you know, maybe a younger child in there or whatever it is. Kind of agree with that. Cancel her video game. The, the, other, thing, <laughs> and, and the, the other thing she said was, like, uh, it's unfair for, like, a guy who, tra- who transitioned to a, being a woman to compete in women's sports. You know what I mean? Which is also a big argument that is low-key oh true. God. So many people, like, that's, that's like, like, and it's like, this recently? And no, she said this a while ago. And I literally spent the last four years thinking, like, she's some crazy transphobe. And I was, like, looking at the, some of those remarks. I'm like, this is pretty agreeable. I'm like, I don't know, dude. This like seems like normal nah, shit. I'm That's wondering like, though, what when it comes down to the whole sports, like where the uh, actual line is gonna be drawn one day, because you know it's just, it's just gonna like go, it's gonna bleed over the lines, and this one day they're just gonna. No, it's not. There's already been hell examples. There's been like four or five like sports in which all women's records have been completely defeated by, mm. you know, a, a trans yeah. person who enters the sport. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, no, but I, because I was like, yeah, I was thinking about that same thing, like, yeah, because uh, um, I seen like a conversation on Twitter that you know they want to let start letting trans, you know, women into the uh, WNBA and shit, and it's like, bro, imagine like, bro, the, imagine, I'm sorry, I did not mean to cut you off. Go, go. Imagine like LeBron James was just like, oh, I'm about to, uh, I'm about to transition yeah. or whatever. Exactly. And then fucking go to the WNBA and he just slam dunking on like That's five okay. six Bro, bitches. He's gonna drop That's ninety cool. every game. But check it out, we're seeing this shit happen with sports though, right? When's it gonna start happening with like music, where it's like huh? oh like I or like <laughs> well that so like, check it out. We're talking about wait, wait, physical wait, wait, wait. Let my boy take off. Okay. You you already get on this flight. Let my boy. <laughs> let my boy <laughs> take. Ready to get on the flight. Let, let my, my boy pass. take off. No offset. Go ahead. No, because y'all don't let me go. Continue with your flow. Be okay. Damn, that was good. Go ahead. What were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. I just got it. <laughs> Not for real. You really forgot what we were yeah. talking about? Uh, like trans people being in sports. Oh, I no, was what, saying, what wait, if so you're check like it out. LeBron James trans? Right. So transition. check it out. Like, what's going to get to the point Like, once we start seeing that be held in like music? Um, mm ceremonies where it's like okay best female oh. you know r&b song best best r&b male song it's like maybe if if bro doesn't like accomplish what he needs to as like a uh on the male level you know is he gonna wow. do it on the female side you know nah i that's, feel like that's, that's crazy. crazy i feel like th- th- that can happen but i feel like the example of the more physical traits is like it, more it, of like it, a yeah more and, and it would be more detrimental because like you know if someone's like either transitioned or maybe not transitioned they just like you know like hey i'm a fucking woman and then they go and like you know ufc fight or something uh-huh. and like just just demolishing other women but yeah. uh to what blasi was saying yeah. right now is like basically a lot of it's not happening on youtube but on twitch because on twitch when you play a game it says what game you're playing and on twitch uh i'm not sure if it's still happening but as soon as the, the harry potter game came out anyone who's playing it and had Harry Potter, Hogwarts Legacy, and their thing, they had a bunch of people going to their chat and being like, you transphobe, can't believe you're supporting this game, can't believe you're supporting J.K. Rowling, blah, blah, or whatever it is, when the, J.K. Rowling has nothing to do with the game. She just owns the rights to Harry Potter, you know? I'm going to be honest with you, twin. I don't want to have no trans talk for, like, at least, like, two months. <laughs> <laughs> Can we move on to uh, a different subject? <laughs> yeah. Please. Okay. Well, yeah. I just but want to talk about Harry Potter. You don't want to But, like, on a linear note, does that have to do with that? I just got to say that I think, like, Twitch is going to be the next platform that, like, is going to... I don't know. They're going through, like, some, like... They're going through, they're going through some identity crisis mm-hmm. because they have... It, like, Aiden has said, like, he feels targeted. You know, like, like they're definitely not fucking with him. Yeah. And but even on why, the... Why, though? He brought so many viewers and so many people... To I their know. platform. I don't know where they draw the line. I'm not sure if it's like the the, the, the toxicity behind it or well, you know what's is crazy. It, is it the fact that it's like gambling? It's promoting it to children, like the yeah. the bathtub streams and shit like that. Well, that's the other side of the coin. But dude, you know what's like, crazy? I was I was talking to Ice when I was out there in, in Texas, and he was telling me that when he was a part of Twitch, he, he, he had like he had like Twitch <laughs> partners and all this stuff. 
and uh and he was saying like dude he's like they haven't been profitable in like the past five years like there hasn't been a Adam year Adam lied and said our show wasn't profitable either they're, they're, they're like that's crazy mm-hmm. uh, that was crazy they said there was like not a year they've shown profit so that's why they're doing all these these crazy new uh, drastic movements trying to make as much money as possible mm-hmm. and protect their and they said Jurassic movements <laughs> Jurassic <laughs> that nigga said Jurassic but Jurassic even like movements. even YouTube I think they told the uh, um they just told the Nelk boys like yo like Steve will do it can't even pop up on your videos wow or, gonna, or you're, we're not fucking with you that's weak so now that's he's all oh, because he's banned from the platform now yeah. he's not allowed to like pop out and Jeez. do any cameos or anything in, in the Nelk boys is that why his girlfriend's youtube got deleted too probably because she probably had had him in it you yeah know? who yeah, the fuck crazy. is watching steve will do it's uh girl well, i just popped up on my recommended one no, time. no what i'm saying is who would be watching Steve will do its girlfriend's Out of page there. without him. Right. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Y'all gotta y'all, again. Let him land. Let, let him me land. land, bro. <laughs> hey, but did you guys watch <laughs> the last Nelk so video high. with Hasbulla when huh? they went to Russia? Yes. That show was that so was fire. funny, bro. That was such a good video. Can I be real with y'all? Hmm. I still don't like think Hasbulla is funny. I don't. You think gotta, he's did funny. you watch this video? Never. Watch it. I've seen like <laughs> I've seen like a Facebook video. Bro, you gotta think about it, bro. He's literally a grown man. He was eighteen. That's. Well, that's a grown man. Yeah, he's a grown man that is like physically the stature of a child. Yeah, and also, what about that isn't hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but also you, and he you, acts like he acts like an adult. He drives a car. Yes, yeah, that's. But I also he drives how. a car in the homie's lap, bro. Hey, you know what's Literally. crazy? He, I think he was standing up in my line, lap. bro. He drives the. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 he he does, but he has like this like Russian attitude where it's so funny. I've never yeah. seen the side of him, but in that video, he's like on his homie's lap. His homie's pressing gas and brake while he's just steering the fucking wheel, and they're going hella fast. And okay. Nelk said they almost hit someone or whatever. And at one point, he's like. In it's his crazy. squeaky little voice, he's like, "There's cops behind us!" Ha! ha, ha. He starts laughing. Bro. And then he's like, "We should send the Americans to go talk to them and fuck with the cops." Like he's just a funny ass like troll. You know what I mean? Like I don't think he's eighteen, by the way. I think he's like older. Maybe nineteen, twenty. I heard no, nigga, he's like like thirty something. No, right? he's not thirty something. He, he's. I, you want to bet? You want to bet? Riley's gonna I look bet. it up right now. I used to, I used to you want to bet on it? You want to bet on it? Wait, you want to bet on it? You want to bet on it? You want to bet on it? I got twenty on it. Fifty. Fifty. Hundred. Ten. Hundred. Ten. Two hundred. Ten. Wait, hold on, don't look up yet. Wait, well, what are we betting on? What's, what age are you choosing? 30 and up. 18 to 20. Nigga, that's... No, okay. Okay, yeah. That's fair. Oh, you're right. Oh. Where's my 200? We didn't shake on it. Oh. Oh. All of a sudden. We didn't shake on it. Sudden. My whole thing, though, is like, so he does that like... I can't believe this. <laughs> He's I just don't like how people treat him sometimes. They'd be like, like when they're talking to him, they like... Acting it out sometimes. I'm like, just talk to this nigga, bro. Like, he also speaks Russian. Nigga, he, yeah, but like, not he, speak English. Oh, okay, I forgot. Okay, that's, that's probably a fact. Okay, <laughs> he I literally stand, doesn't I stand, speak English. I stand corrected. Every video you see, corrected. there's like a translator. <laughs> yeah. You know what? He's on his Russian. No, I see what. No, I see what they didn't want you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm on this camera. He just, said, "Ha!" Uh, I, I was just playing. Wait, bro. so what is what is the hierarchy of the of the owners of BBE here? I think that we all like. Have Why does he give Pablo split. the boot again? Is the question. Well, I, well I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This was funded by by Blazzy, so Blazzy could technically kick you off if he wanted. It's to. not even yeah. about that, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just so confident that you know, like, you know, this has always been like fun for me. And if you know, he so like, if, ne- if next week every comment was like, Pablo, get him out of here. It's definitely gonna we're say not, that now. Or we're not. Or we're not watching the show anymore. Blizzy's why? Gonna, why am I putting the hot you, you, just, No, Blazzy's gonna hit Pablo because, because you financially put up exactly a lot of shit for this to happen. I mean, if and you're, this is at your spot, Blazzy's yeah, gonna hit Pablo yeah. with the yo, it's non profitable anymore. I mean, that's like that's like <laughs> <a> hypothetical. <laughs> like, what if they say like, oh, houseful has to get removed. That's I'm I'm that's okay. A, well, what they say, Blasi has to get removed. Nigga, you can't get Do removed. Do I just off it, myself? <laughs> <laughs> off myself. <laughs> off myself is crazy. Do okay, just, listen, listen. Do I, I un- think, co-host myself? I think from now on, if anyone's getting uncohosted, we have to all come together and agree. We need to like make like a a ring that separates into four pieces. And to boot someone, we have to like bring this ring back Every together. Every time Yuri just but we comes should separate the pieces. Nigga, this is not different fucking parts of the Sonic, world. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga thinks this is weird. A mighty Morphin Power Ranger. We, we gotta take this ring and take and p- put each piece in a different country. And then we're, <coughs> and then when we want to kick someone no. off, we gotta unite all the rings. But together. to be real with you, can I give you my perspective <laughs> on the whole thing right now? 
my whole thing is like uh, um at the end of the day i could use all this shit you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so like no matter what direction this shit goes like i'm having fun and people spend like hundreds of dollars on therapy shit i'll, I'll spend that shit on a podcast mm-hmm. setup you know we having fun with this shit it's a great oh, way to talk wow. to so it's just your therapy you know? Yeah, for That's what sure. You mean by that. I mean, to keep it real with you, this is really the the main time I socialize. You feel me? Like beyond yeah. all that, yeah, you really it's behind business. I think you know? I see what's going on here. He said, he said I could still use all this equipment at the end of the day. We're all gonna get the boot and be replaced with E Nate. No, Chris. what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's gonna, it's be gonna be the the sandbox. The, it's gonna be like the sandbox podcast <laughs> in a couple oh. months. I mean, but but all that to say that, like, you know, I'm not really uh, uh, trying to run with an iron fist. Like, I'm not even sure if, uh, you know, podcasting is the most profitable business comparable to, like, in comparison of, like, money stacks, you know? Oh, that's a fact. But so see, it's the, like the, the thing about doing all this shit is that at the end of the day, the more eyes you have and the more you're able to promote your products and shit like that, it's just, it's just more of a surefire way you're going to sell out. Yeah. And like, I, do a good and like job. I said, like, I think, uh, uh, I think T-Rail said it best. It's like, obviously we weren't doing this shit for the money to begin with. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, like, to be honest, uh, like T-Rail. I said, like I said, like, I, I, and go ahead. And to keep it real, T-Rail, as soon as, you know, as soon as I said anything, First to text me, call me, hit me. He called me, he was like, look, bro, where the fuck you need? I got you on that. Like, so shout well, out yeah, to T-Rail. Nigga, sell us that babe chair, because I want it. <laughs> yeah, so all you need to do is, like, we'll have the babe chair, and then, shit, we'll put a little back on fix sticker right here, promote you and shit I like that. I swear <laughs> to God. Yeah. I Shout swear to God. Fake, sell me the, like, like, not even give it to me for free. Sell me the babe chair. Wait, can I have the babe chair for my crib if I buy it? I'm going to buy it with my own money. No, I want to have it here in the middle of the table, dude. Well, cause like <laughs> that would be weird as fuck if I have one couch like chair. Let Riley back. use the beep, babe chair over there in the corner. I'm sorry, Riley. We can get you another chair. Oh, <laughs> the, wow. I need the babe chair for the crib. Okay, listen. Sell me the babe chair, and I'll secretly find a way to promote back on Fig on the show every week. You really want that babe chair? <laughs> So like I'll do it. the follow up show on back on fig. I'll have like a back on fig fucking sticker on my. Do you hat think back on shit. fig needs promo? They're killing it. They're over killing there, bro. it right. I don't think they need any promo from They're us. They're killing it. See, look, that's the wrong mindset of thinking that you don't need, and you can always need more ways to expand and more people to you know be tuned into you. No facts. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't ever get too cocky and think that you know. You don't need something. Hey, uh, you know, we're in a different... I, I really like the, the the vibe of this place, how it looks and everything like that. We're in a different spot, but so much, so we much still have the same relaxed. old segments, uh, like always. Yeah. Created by the one and only... Oh, my God. We got the one and only Mac still riding with us, man. I, Shout I, out Mac, I, man. I'm not going to lie. At first, I thought it was a wobbler. I didn't Mac, know Mac, Mac was sure. He's still a wobbler. Well, can I... Uh, uh, <laughs> can, I fuck can, for that. can I Can I throw a let you tell a card at myself? Let's go. Oh shit! Okay. And is this let you tell an episode? That's how you know you're not some totalitarian mm. shit because it'd be let you tell an episode. Oh wow! Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> no fuck, but uh, you know told. when Mac picked me up Wednesday night, I you know I was talking to him. I was telling him like, "Yo, we're probably gonna you know end this soon, but you know we have plans on still fucking with you. You know, let's tap in." And he was like, "All right, man, let's do it." So shout out to Mac because he honestly top you know treated me well with that vegas hospitality so man yeah. I fuck with shout my boy to mac. shout out mac man and also shout, shout out, out to riley who just finished a whole day's work and shout we're filming here f- late at night and riley's behind the boards yeah, bro. shout out riley, riley, riley thank you so one. much riley shout had riley. no fucking like she had she did not have to do, come do this bro and at like, all fucking yuri's over here trying to explain how to like how to do all this shit to chris and like it just would have been. I, so I much. saw I saw the thousand yard stare in Chris's eyes as I was <laughs> as I was like explaining what to do, and I was like, he doesn't understand what's going on right and, now. And you know, like I'm not even gonna blame him because like I've never had you ex- explain something to me. I'm a terrible teacher. That's what as I was well. gonna say. I don't know. Like I didn't want to just outright say it like that, but like no. I don't know about your like I didn't realize abilities this. as being a, a a good teacher. Riley had to explain this to me because I've tried to teach her many things, and she's just like, "You're not a really good teacher." <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> Riley, did you learn all this stuff directly from stuff he was telling you, or did you like kind of take little parts here and there and kind of figure the rest out on your own? 
she said she figured. But also the whole thing that Riley does right now with the bring the topics up all smoothly and everything and like I know how to transition the screen and like set it all up, but to run all that like I don't even know how Google Docs work. It's just because I don't use Google mm, Docs yeah, at all. Exactly. So it's just like she knows how to do all that stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. Which is like I didn't even know how to explain that to Chris. Which is also why I was going like, oh, you got to do this and you yeah. got to do that and this. And, and he's that. just like, oh, uh, okay. yeah, exactly. Like, uh, yeah, like, yeah oh, we were running probably high. Like, he's fuck. like, yeah, we about to be fucked. <laughs> he's like, fuck it, I work here. <laughs> yeah, I think it's probably high as fuck. Like, no I think shit. that's the I think that's the good thing. The benefit of just doing it here is that we have a lot of uh, you know handy helpers that can help us out with whatever we yeah. need you yeah. feel me? and we that's another thing i want to add to that too like man like uh we have a lot of good people in our in our corner right now man and i just want to say shout out to you guys Fact. to everybody that's just been y'all. helping behind the scenes with just everything just a lot shout of people to every, yeah shout with, out the, to God, man, with the lighting you know yeah, like yeah. all this stuff like getting the list like you know i was able to get a lot of lists together but like there's certain certain stuff i had to reach out to other people for and everyone just like so supportive like we connected yeah. like you know bb like yeah of course no bro. if I, it feels all the way good to be back man and like i just want to bring up the elephant in the room too like you know i don't think any of us see yuri any type of way you feel me for tapping in with doing the news and shit like that like no people bro, even it, it like awkward and like uncomfortable, yeah, yeah. but it's like you know like we're adults here you feel me it's right. not no like no you fucking you're not crossing this this fucking line in the sand mm-hmm. bro it's the like, only way that that would be a thing is if we needed you to do something and they're like yuri we want you to have your own show at fucking 6 p.m mm-hmm. and then yeah. you're like hey listen i can't fuck with y'all that was the only time. <laughs> no, it would be a I would fuck with I would fuck with a, a, a Yuri show. I'm not saying I wouldn't fuck with it, but I'm saying, uh, nigga, if we if we were supposed to be filming at, at the same time, oh, yeah, or yeah. live at the same time, hmm. and Yuri has you know he got to go do the fucking harmonious hour. Well, there is a Yuri no show, chamber. Harmonious Hour, every Wednesdays on uh, on my uh, channel Yuri. Uh, but I haven't really done an episode. Your in a couple channel weeks. is just Yuri. Yeah, yeah. I, well, my new because uh, my Harmonious Man channel got fully demonetized. I'm working on getting getting it remonetized. So I it just not only is it like just not making money at all, but it doesn't get promoted. It's just like kind of like shadow Damn, banned during bro. this That's moment. That's crazy. So now I had to create this new channel, the Harmonious Man Clips, and I renamed it just to Yuri, which I wanted to do that mm. a while ago, but. Harmonious Man, I, just, I feel sentimentally attached to it because I made that like six, seven years ago. And I was like, I don't know. I don't want to change well, the name. I will say one thing. The great thing about being named Yuri is you are literally the only person who anybody in this whole room, probably in the chat, recognizes yeah. as Yuri. Yeah, Yuri. Yeah, yeah, it's, exactly. it's not like the baby where it's like, okay, like, yeah. you're the little. <laughs> or, or, but like. Little Yuri. Like, yeah. Blazzy's also, you know, Toke. I don't know yeah. another Toke. Yeah, you know? that's bad. Or Pod Lord. Or, 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 or Pod Lord. Or, oh, yes. or a porta potty or a pop lord that's crazy yeah. and also nigga, academics is funny as fuck bro. I, w- I wanted to s- well shit i don't know if we like i know we didn't want to talk about dra- drama and stuff like like that but with the uh, whole smack situation have you guys seen anything about that where he came on the last episode of uh, uh redact connected or whatever um <laughs> and okay well, and wait, i thought wait, it was wait, a, wait, 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 okay wait 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 yes what yes. did y'all do to this man because i was watching the reaction last night and i'm like damn smack seemed like he really felt some type of way about whatever y'all did to him why was y'all bullying the homie bro okay he was not bullying can i give my take y'all like first of all before y'all even mention what happened whatever y'all did y'all lucky smack didn't go back to the old fig side smack well as soon as smacking y'all well okay so okay, here's the thing nobody's gonna smack during the during the podcast i see look that's how you get yourself into shit I, I said, respectfully <laughs> respectfully i don't uh like you know it's like i don't like i know that what people say like how like you try to make someone's intelligence intelligence i guess a joke or whatever and i never felt like i was trying to do that and i also did not want to do that we, we do that to but, you um, all the time though, i so. know but uh, but also yeah the whole spelling bee thing the whole origin of that is the fact that i can't spell and you guys say that oh, i can't spell it's not and, that we say that you can't spell you have giving clear okay examples well that's the that, origin of it is the fact you, that i'm in unable to spell and i wanted to create a spelling bee or whatever and like you know get uh, a lot of the um you know different people involved in there or whatever but it, it didn't sound like you did anything no, wrong. It, it, more but it sounded I, like everyone was mad at Paul. exactly course, but uh me. but to be fair like you, you were the one saying like spell shirt and like a couple other words That's were crazy. the reason why i was like like just like you know laughing going all crazy like this because i was like i was like bro that's it's, such a, pocket, it's a simple yeah. word to ask someone to spell. You I, know was, what I mean, mean like, we were just joking around. I wasn't. I didn't well, mean you don't shit even know by that. But during, <laughs> but during the podcast, I mean like it, it felt like the the vibes were fine. And everything. Then at, at, once we ended it, like uh, we we um, both Toke and I and Riley and uh, I forgot who I think Mac. We were talking to Smack. We were having you know had like ten to 15, 10 to fifteen minute conversation about how we thought the podcast went well. It was cool. It was fun. 
And then um, I went home thinking everything was great, read the comments, and everyone yeah. was juiced on that episode. And then later I started hearing, I, uh, I think AD said it on some uh, stream where he was like, Smack was really pissed off about that. He hit me up later that day saying he, he didn't like it. And then when, once I heard that, like, I reached out to Smack and I was like, yo, dude, like, I didn't want to make you feel any type of way. And I was not trying to make you the butt of the joke. You know, so I apologized to Smack and he, I think he like, he just like liked my message or whatever it is. But um, I never wanted to, you know, make him the butt of the joke. Yeah. Dude, I, I don't I, think I, he's like terribly hurt from this. He said he's like, yeah, him exactly. at night, you know, I, I just wanted to clear yeah. there. I, t- I talked to him on the phone. We, we like cleared it all up. But like, uh, yeah, I just want to say shout out to Smack. Actually, you know, like I. You know, we were just in a moment, you know, niggas just be on the show. We just be talking shit. And and like you said, we do we that just, to one another, too. Yeah, like, so. roast each other for, but you know. we've known each other for a hell of a long time. Mm-hmm. you probably known that nigga, like, a couple months. That was the second time I met him in person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. So, you know? Yeah, it's exactly. like, shout out Smack, though, But man. shout out to him. Yeah, he made a great him. episode at the end of the day. Um, yeah. But yeah, are you guys yeah. ready to get into these topics? Let's get into the sneaker news, man. Right. No, I also, I do want to say, before we get into the sneaker news, I just want to talk about... Oh no, it's already on there. So we go ahead and just get. No, right no, into say it, it, say it, just say. It. I mean, it's just like the the uh, the no. big red other yo. Way, other way, other way. The uh, the the big red boots, man. Like honestly, why are you it's skipping crazy. past all the other? Well, he just asked me to go ahead know, and talk about it to begin with. So why? Because I got them in order already. All right, let's go right into it. All right, so we got the sneaker news today. Uh, brought to you by Mac. Shout out to Mac. Shout out, Mac. Shout out to Mac, man. Our yeah. Las Vegas correspondent. I'm sorry. Hey, wait, and also. I'm not trying to come off Adamy ish on the show. I'm just very like a little nervous because it's our first show mm-hmm. by ourselves. So I'm sorry if I'm like being <laughs> a like, headphone no one, Yeah, you know. I'm just saying I'm sorry if I'm being like no, yeah. dictator ish. No one's gonna go to sleep tonight like, like cold yo, and fuck, like I was <laughs> fucked up. I fucked. Like, what? <laughs> come on, bro. We chill. <laughs> I don't care. Hey, this nigga Blasi has the funniest way of saying <laughs> yeah. shit. Bro. I know. He said no one's gonna sleep cold. <laughs> cold. <laughs> But speaking of which, it has been cold in LA, bro. No, for it's real. Been, it's in this like, office. This, this nigga tried to do a, a weather. No, it had. Did you know? <laughs> a weather report. Been, that was did you crazy. Know, bro, it was, been, it was last night was freezing. Nah, it was literally it was freezing. You know, I was literally about to get knocked over by the wind leaving the fucking restaurant. Oh, yes. Yeah. And it was hella windy. Wait, right. what'd y'all do for uh, Valentine's Day? I don't even like. like. Let's not talk about listen, it. Listen, I'm, I'm on some like keep my personal, personal life off camera when it comes to this new situation. Mm-hmm. I'm all about it. that. I'm over it right I, now. Like, <laughs> no like, personal like, life I'm talk. Like, I'm literally like on some just nothing personal shit. It was all good. I, went, I had a great dinner and shit like that. But I'm just trying to like detach my real life from like the internet shit for Honestly, a second. Honestly, that's... It's a, really stressful, bro. I'm not going to lie to it's you. It's really nothing personal. For real. You got you to leave it nothing personal. I felt that. You know? So like... It took okay. Fuck all that shit. No, I had a, I had a great time though. I had a Thank great you. time. I had a great dinner. Uh, my girl looked fucking beautiful. You know, that was a big. It was a big night for me though. I finally did like the like girlfriend review with the tagged post. Yeah. yeah. Like, bitches were in shambles. Bitches, I haven't talked. Bitches were like like hedgehogs popping out of the ground. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like, oh what? You got a girlfriend? In oh, shambles. <laughs> All house phones off the market. No, oh, I'm talking about bitches that I already like knew, like not like yeah. random bitches. He's like, like the like, fucking he's like, at the Dow Jones. First of all, I got hoes. Like y'all need to relax and act like I'm I don't joking, got hoes. I'm joking. I'm fucking around. Second of all, it's like the stock market crashing on Wall Street. How many months does it take to do like the hard posts? You know, I'm not gonna lie. Like I feel like my you hand jump was, into it. I feel like my hand was forced almost, or like you know oh, something like that. Okay. How? Not that my hand was forced, but just like. You know, like, I don't know, bro. You know, be, being an all-star player is just it's hard, to, it's hard to throw your jersey in the Raptors sometimes. All-star no player? No one's ever called you that? What the fuck? Why are you walking around with this title now? This no one's correct. ever called you that. I call myself that. You probably don't. <laughs> I just did right now. I just freestyled it off the dome. You know? But no, what I'm saying is, like, like, I never did a GF reveal on on Instagram before. Never, never, never. For what? Yeah, you know. So it was like that was that was a lot for me. It's some growth, man. Good for you, bro. I'm I'm proud of you, man. Me too. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get into the uh, the sneaker news. We got the Jeremy Scott Adidas Campus. 
Mm. 80s. 80s. Release date February 16th. I know. <laughs> 80s. You, you never had ketchup to your fries, bro? Come on. Oh my God, <laughs> dude. $150. You never had shit at the end of this. $150 would be shit. Come on now. This nigga's a philosopher. But release date is February. February. They spell that right? Yes. February. February. I don't know. That doesn't look like spell right. <laughs> Blazzy's been off the can of butter again, FYI. Nah, so I think he's just just too late. nah but you know what? I am off about these fucking droplets right now. They're like some edible, like, like clearly ink droplets kind of okay, thing. Okay, listen. Blazzy you, always drop the random shit. Mouth shit all day. You, don't radio. tell me you're doing okay, a tongue okay. out like radio, radio, radio. All right, listen. We need to set some rules. Oh God, here we immediately. go. Immediately. No dabs <gasps> and no edibles no, before, no, this, no, no, before no. the show. Before the show. As one you fourth, it, as one fourth it, owner, man. that's ridiculous. Bro. No dabs? Dab no dance, nigga. You can't <laughs> yeah. hear? Listen, y'all get fucking retarded off edibles what and mean, dabs. Y'all? We all do. No, no, no. no, no. It's, it's yeah. just a common thing. I have a high tolerance. It's this guy. He Bro, becomes like goofy. You can't just wait until we start the show. That's all I'm saying. I got a high <laughs> tolerance. Can I dab on the show? Who does this nigga right huh? here? Can I dab on the show? You can dab on the show, but just wait a little bit. Like, Puffco, hook us up. Let's get started first, like getting a little groove and then do The that. crazy okay. part is I was just fucking with you. I was eating off edibles. <laughs> you, what are I'm you to- off the? No, I'm totally off edibles, yeah. <laughs> I oh. said, hey, I'm not gonna lie. You had some random candy sitting around, and I ate it, and it was good as <laughs> fuck. And I'm like, is this an edible or not? And like, I it, like we've been smoking this whole time, like while we were setting up. And I think that I was so high that I was confusing myself, thinking that the candy that I ate was an edible. Wow, it was good as placebo fuck, effect. It was a. I could go for some more edibles right now, but I yeah, do want to say one thing though. Like uh, off the, um, the 2020 sour strips or what? Man, I'm about the sour strips, I'm about the sour rings, the droplets. I got can of butter. Droplets is crazy. I got like a tub of can of butter in the fridge you right now. You got to put that on your on a, on a you know nice uh, medium steak. Bro, Toke is off like a whole case of Coronas. I did not drink that. That nigga smelled like a drunk uncle as Dude, soon as I got we, here. We got I here. He picked me up from my house this morning, right? And when I, on the way here, I was like, I was like, have you eaten it yet? He's like, no. He's like, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Like he was also just like waking up, getting ready for the day, like I was, right? I just wanted to grab some water, maybe a little snack and. Get ready for the and day. He grabbed we a thirty-five get, pack of bro, Corona. We, of our, <laughs> he already had a pack in the back of his car. We get here, and I'm just—I just want some water desperately. And he just psh, starts drinking Coronas. I'm like, never yes. seen that nigga drink water before. Huh? I'm like, Dude, I just drink some bro, water. I've known this nigga. Can I get? Look. I've known this nigga for more than ten years. I ain't never seen this nigga drink. What? This is the first time I ever seen this nigga drink water. Hold on. Why does Yuri have a goofy ass water bottle? That goofy? shit's way too big, yeah. bro. Pull that shit out. Hold because on. I'm trying to drink Pause. my hella water, dude. I've been you took, honestly like two sips of it. I have this. I've been having this, this shit issue. got no top on it. You just raw dog in this. Yeah, because dude, water. It, it, exactly. I let that shit get all types no, of like, I've, uh, I've, desk, I've, office debris, bro. <laughs> it's <laughs> a, it's a small hole, top, so it's yeah. little debris gets in there, but. I suck at drinking fucking water, bro. What? I do. I need to drink more water, and I suck at doing it. So I, I know your. I get like, big gallons like this, or big waters like this. Looks like the gold on this fucking rock star, bro. Logo. And then I it does, and then I lose the cap, so that I'm like, I have to fucking just keep drinking it. No, I, I know Toke's pee is literally just Corona. You want to see? <laughs> he just pees it back out and then drinks it. I again. know, right into a bottle, <laughs> reseals it. That would be actually a good. It's still way carbonated. Of That'd be a great way of recycling. He it back out and redrinks. Are we quitting Coronas this year? Yeah, uh, you know, it's crazy, man. Uh, shout out to Fat Tire, man. They're actually about to sponsor Spliff Mode TV. Man. So I'm about to be so he's going to get more beer and for free. I'm about to be off the Coronas, fat man. Tire. Shout out Fat Tire, man. So Now, how many like Coronas do you think you drink in a week? Like in a 60, week? 100? Probably like 200. Uh, let's see. In a week. Probably like. Because you be going through like, like a five day. Like a five day. Seven I mean, a seven-day week. Seven day. <laughs> it's his only. <laughs> it's his only form of hydration. I know, so, yeah, like, Sam, bro. Uh, I would probably I've never say like, seen this nigga drink water. I would, I would probably say like, like seventy to eighty. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you, bro? I don't drink seventy to eighty of anything right Yo, now. I don't even. I would probably drink, drink, drink like ten a, a day. Toke, you gotta get a liver test, bro. No, yeah, I don't. Bro. Your eyes don't even be open sometimes. Well, too bad I can see. No, your pupils be like hella yellow. <laughs> yeah. 
You just, I wasn't right. gonna say that, but <laughs> yeah, I think it. I'm fine. We're having a fucking intervention with the homie. Oh, nigga, oh, bro, I, 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 bro, I'm like more in shape than all of you guys put that together. Is cap. Nigga, bro, if you yo, throw yes, one, I am. If you throw one punch, your fucking shoulder's gonna bro, fly. I into, will outrun into you. The the other always room. With this is this narrative. That's, <laughs> that's it. I will outrun you, bro. Bro, no, you gonna hear a large ass pop? You won't. And that nigga's shoulder. No, you I will. Shoulder. Okay. If I if my shoulder will pop out, how come I can outswim you? <laughs> Nigga, you you're a dolphin, dude. <laughs> How yeah. come I can not swim you then? Because you swim like this. That's ca- <laughs> yeah, that's cat. How did it get to swimming so f- I can out swim you, motherfucker? Yeah, because he said, because he said, my shoulder will pop out. Swim. I'm like, bro, but I can out swim you, though. No problem. Nigga. With my eyes closed, I can out swim you. I don't know. You don't that- need your eyes to swim, motherfucker. <laughs> yes, you fucking You do. literally you don't you need your eyes to swim. Let bro, you tell what? it. Bro. Fucking dumb shit is that. Let bro, you yes, tell you it. do need when your I'm in eyes the pool, to swim. I, my eyes are not open. It's chlorine in the pool. Yeah, You're bro. just running in the walls. Nigga just diving. I'm not running Nigga into just a wall. diving like this. I got hands on a le- there in front of me. <laughs> Nigga taking a leap of faith in a pool is crazy. What Nigga, the fuck is wrong? You're taking a leap of faith with that weak ass shoulder. Bro, you look like you just got off from the airport. You look like you just got up a sponsor Instagram ad. <laughs> Nigga, man, you look like you work at a ski resort. What the fuck are you talking about? You look like you work at the fucking Rosecrans <laughs> Reloaded promo page. <laughs> Nigga got on the lids fit. Nigga, Yo, you got man. Home Depot on your jeans, bro. What bro, are you, you talking about? You got on Beetlejuice jeans, nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> Beetlejuice? <laughs> what are you talking about? This nigga is Quavo in the ankles, bro. Yeah. Shut oh the fuck up with these. I'm going to keep it real with you, too. You're kind of jockeying my swag. I'm not going to lie. Are, I, felt, I felt like my biggest bro when I popped out the crib oh, today. Okay, for Shout sure. out to my I'm biggest bros, man. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Nah, I got that shit together. Also, shout out to Duno. If you, y'all want to watch a shout good ass Duno, video, man. I went ahead and challenged T Rel to see who could put put together a fit for Duno at the fucking Santi Alley's. And one thing about Duno, bro, they treat him like Michael Jackson out there. Mm, I swear to God, not a single great. person wasn't, fam- you know, they're all familiar with, with what bro is, that's what he fire. does. That shit was hella dope. That's like, so he's just um, walking like through the alley and everybody's just. Everybody, like, bro. Out. You would think he's Justin Bieber. Bro, that's how, bro, bro, <laughs> you don't remember that's how it was when we were in Vegas? Yeah. Because there was, like, like, I'm sorry, like, if this sounds racist, it's because there was a Bad Bunny concert across <laughs> the Bad street. Bunny. Bad Bunny's dope. Across the street from where we were staying. Very but true. There was a lot, like, like the influx. Of the, Latinos. The influx of Latinos. Was slightly higher than Latinx usual. Latinx people. Mm. Well, that word's been banned in the state recently. What? In like actually, in Arkansas, funny. there was a there was conservative year. Yeah, he said. Nerves. You know what's funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Right, Anytime he it. says some forget conservative it, shit, it. I'm like, shut the fuck forget up, Gary. I'm sorry, bro. Go ahead. What, no, never say? mind. No, never no. Mind. What'd you say? I'm they, sorry. they. Uh, I think in Los Angeles or in California, they uh, did a poll. Arkansas. Of like, I forgot. No, that was where they banned it. But it, uh, they did North the same. Dakota. They did a, a similar poll in California where it was like all. Uh, they only polled Hispanic people, mm-hmm. and it, I think it was like 0. 06 percent of the Hispanic people they polled identify as Latinx. Like ninety percent of them were like, "That's a made up word by the white people." It's like we don't even. Wow. That, I mean, that's very true. I've never met anyone who claimed Latinx. Yeah. I, I see a lot. I mean, like me myself, it's not like I'm gonna describe myself that ever. But I've I've seen more people upset about it than I've seen like praise it. I've never even seen anyone like mm. have their reason behind it. I, I understand like the the, the service level. It's is to remove the uh, the masculine, the feminine yeah. like pronouns. So that's the way they like the. Uh, that's the way like the latin words are just set up yeah yeah and, and i Russian feel like works too. yeah and i feel like the people who have but no uh, one gives a fuck that's what i'm saying the people no that the people that that live through that shit are the people that don't care you know Bro, what i'm saying like yeah. the people that grew up hispanic and grew up having to deal with the trials and tribulations of that shit they are not out here like oh my god no y'all should be saying latinx like, I, yeah. yeah i've never heard that's any. you feel me like that's weak as fuck so if they don't care it's almost like you know like it's like that like in any situation you can't trip on something if the person that like is the main character of the situation is not tripping. But are we just are we just making up like a made up villain or are there really people, are there really like people who are strapping on their boots trying to claim this Latinx shit? Hey, there are so. some you people that saying? go crazy. Adam about shit. the march that are Latinx. Adam Latin. is like the only person I've ever heard like <laughs> constantly it. use the word Latin like <laughs> the phrase Latinx. Like where the fuck are these like you know? Yeah, it's like, probably two. Where people. the foot soldiers at for this hey, shit? It's I think people, it is some like, people, but like I mean I don't know where they at. 
So I want to see uh, a Latinx come on here and like debate his point. I want to see a Latinx <laughs> come on here. Oh, we're going to make a debate panel. All right, so we never even got into these shoes. Jeremy Scott, Adidas Campus 80s, 150 bucks for them. And they're coming out up. February 16th. So in like, what, two days? Ooh, I fuck with the topics of the week. And Ooh. shout out to Riley behind the board. Shout topics out. Let's go. <clears throat> BB. Wow. Ooh, Bro. Who had these uh, low Zvert, right? Like similar. Probably. Shit. Yeah. I was about to say our Kerwin Frost. Or Maybe. just like bro, they're, very, um, they're Jeremy Scott Adidas. They've been putting these out for years. I, I was think, gonna say it right. Like, yeah. They've me, been putting out different variations of these for years. So here's my thing, right? Me personally, I think they're a dope ass pair of shoes. Would I buy them? Probably not. I'd have to be on like on some shit that day. I'd have to, like, to walk into your... the store and be like all right, I like, want these right here. Like you just made like you know two two hundred bands in a couple hours or something off nah, of fucking Ashley. Nah, nah. He's like, I do that all the time. Come no, on, but it's yeah. like it ha- it, I wouldn't premeditated. I wouldn't premeditate this purchase per se. Like I would rather. Yeah, just, but hey, that's these are, you, you just walk into the, the regular store. ones. Like these this are, are fire. ugly. What? The, those are ass. I think these yeah, are these, better. These are way. They, yeah, they no, the black and white ones are way better than the pink ones. No, the pink ones are were weird. These are uh, these are actually cool. Like no, like. It takes away from like the, the like oomph that the shoe had with the, the print on it. Oh, I feel it. I don't know. I would rather. No. And like, if you guys are familiar with Jeremy Go Scott, if you guys were, which I know either of you guys aren't. He, he, yeah. I've seen his guys, stuff, the if, little peep shoes and like the giant wings and what like. What do you mean he, little peep shoes? Well, he did the the, the he, teddy bear, the teddy bear like tongues or whatever it is, yeah. and he had like all variations of those. Yeah, okay. I've seen a bunch of his like different so you, okay. the giant wings. You know what? I'm Yuri's just, tapped in. You I'm know. actually <laughs> very surprised, Yuri. I'm sorry. Let's go. But no, you'll be going crazy. What <laughs> I was saying is that like you know just the black and pink ones are just more of a Jeremy uh, Scott aesthetic versus just these look like. Some fucking like warehouse shoe sale Adidas that like <laughs> you you just like put a fucking, bone yeah, on put some glued some well, fucking toy bones on the front of them. They have like a phrase for yeah. this in like the food industry. I forgot it was, but like you know, it's like you just scrap whatever you have left over. Oh, and like, just, like 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 you you take the remaining shit and your like fridge, the fish shit, yeah. Well, and and you make like a fucking what's, random bowl. What's out that of soup it? called? Uh, or like a it's like where it's a mixture of all the random shit. What ratatouille? No, that's not that's not okay. what? <laughs> uh, what gumbo. No, it's a, it's, isn't gumbo? Gumbo, gumbo, yeah. How yeah. dare you? No, gumbo is <laughs> wow. not, gumbo's not scraps of random shit. Gumbo <laughs> is an annotated list of things that is in this suit. <laughs> well, he that said, nigga said black so. people eat scraps oh, of random that, shit. That is not <laughs> what I said. Oh Episode one. God. That's exactly what you there said. There are many foods in which they use the not the scraps, but they do not throw anything away. And they no, make they, food out of every little use, piece of an animal. No, they use high quality ingredients for gumbo, actually. Damn, gumbo sounds okay. actually well, fire well, right well, now. No, you I threw a whole crazy steamy, spin steamy narrative on it. Um, no, nah, I'm going to go for a steamy hot uh, plate of soup for show. Bowl of soup right now, <laughs> not right now. Like yeah, I'm about to head out. Well, you said steamy hot. I thought I was gonna hear another. Yeah, word. I thought yeah, I was like I don't know what. I, yo, <laughs> yo, 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 y'all gotta get your mind out the gutter, man. We talking about soup. Okay, man. Let's talk about the next shoe though. That's what we need to be talking about. The Tiana Taylor Air Jordan One. Uh, this is coming out later on this year for one hundred and fifty dollars. Who's Tiana Taylor? A rapper. Hmm. Rapper, singer, songwriter, actress, model. Okay. All and just above. all around fine bad bitch. Legend. Yeah. These are fucking the, weak. These are, <laughs> <so bad. laughs> these are fucking weak. No, this is this is what happens when you get someone to shoot him. Maybe like, okay, so look, what if we just put spikes right here? Like, bro. <laughs> you know what? This is probably. Oh, man. Yo, bro, this, get the oh, my fuck God. out of here, bro. It seems a little bit too patchy. She wanted like, to random. do the. Oh, off- my God. What happened to Virgil? She, yeah, she wanted to do the off white thing so bad with the. The elongated Nike sign. That shit look ugly as shit. Oh, I'm gonna lie to you. Can we zoom in for a second? Yeah, this is just like... Pro Riley these, on the boards. I would not know how to do it. What are these? Are these, <laughs> these like... Are is that weak. like thorns? Like thorns or something? It's definitely thorns. and not supposed to resemble some kind of rose. This I is weak as Oh, fuck. yeah. Maybe like I, I thought I was like, are they trying to turn the Nike sign into a dinosaur? Is, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I, I feel like, hold on. You know what I feel like what happened? So I'm going I'm to tell you the uh, the fan fiction of how the, sto- the shoot came about. I would you love know. to hear it. Tiana Taylor was at a Nike party. 
And she was thinking, she was like, hey, I always wanted to make, I was going to make these Jordans. What do you think? And it was like a, like two T's that were like the Nike logo. Mm. And then they want to save her from the lawsuit. So they went ahead and gave her a shoe. And this is the <laughs> bullshit that she decided to no, make. No, look, look, look. You know, what I, you know what I think really be happening with like these type of releases? I think that uh, I feel like the more and more they do these releases, the less hands-on that people are actually being, like the, the people that are designing them. Yeah. Because you know what? Tiana Taylor has always been like a like fashion icon. Like she was signed to Pharrell. Okay. Mm-hmm. You, you, you know how I first found out about this girl? Back in the day when they had that show, Super Sweet 16, Same. That's she had the That's craziest Super Sweet 16 oh, in she, New York. Uh, like, literally the whole entire episode, she's bbc and uh, ice cream down because she, she was signed to Pharrell at the time. Wow. Pharrell came to her fucking birthday party. Like, she was lit That's as huge. Fuck. I remember when yeah. she was used to push that whole line of a skater thing, and then, like, she tried, to, she was, she tried to jump on the skateboard, and she, bro, she got worked. Oh I forgot God. where it was at, bro. She got worked. But yeah, honestly, these shoes are hot, fresh off the oven, two pack of ass. <laughs> Garbage, bro. Two two piece of ass and a biscuit. You know what? But I'm pretty excited that it said to be determined. I'm assuming that... The the public is just full to thinking this is gonna be an actual release, yeah. and hopefully they keep this shit in the drawing board. Like, hey, you know what? We yeah. could possibly have the power to change releases before they come out when people, you know, preview these collabs that they're like planning right. on doing. No, it's fine. And if we roast them good enough, they'll go back to the drawing board and put out something. But if that bro, was the case, things... they wouldn't release anything because we yeah. we roast almost ninety percent of the shoes we look at. No, nah. like, oh, like kind of true. I don't know. These you things know, roast themselves, though. <laughs> yeah, like, bro, see, but, like, the, yo. the thing is, like, we got to have actual constructive criticism, and you have to say what it is that you don't like about something. And, and you can't just, like, have yeah. something pull up and just be like, oh, this is ass, and then just keep it pushing. I feel like what Blasi said earlier is a, g- a good example of, like, it seems like the type of thing that happens when you you tell some sort of person who's never had anything to do with making shoes, you tell them, hey, you should make a custom shoe. And they just give you this like elementary ass like you know first creative thought of well let's add some spikes let's yeah. make it all look patchy as hell and then you know the little stitching let's expand the stitching like they do in other shoes and you know like just and all like, these simple little variations yeah. and like I'm not gonna lie like if these were uh, well, could we go back you more yeah like if these were like just a if these were just like a a one of one custom for her or something like. Okay, cool, whatever. Who cares? But like, that would who really, cooler. who's really like buying like some Air Jordan ones that uh, Riley? Can you go over like one to the right where you can see the tongue? Like, nigga, who the fuck wants some fucking Jordan <laughs> ones that like say, say tay. Tay on the fucking tongue? Yeah. Bro, in in that like, okay, I know she tried to do her thing with that Nike sign, but that thing is disgusting. Some Ronald McDonald ass <laughs> shoe. <laughs> bro, listen, it's like, bro, Virgil, Virgil crawled. So y'all niggas That's, could like go back into the, go back into the fucking, <coughs> into the fucking stomach. <laughs> Not, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're saying, like, bro. Like y'all niggas are reversing what he did. Yeah, these yeah. Are he's rolling over in his grave looking at this bullshit. Bro. Virgil crawled so you, you guys can go back into the stomach. <laughs> that was a good. That was a blasting metaphor I've ever heard. Of. <laughs> man, RP. What happened to Virgil, man? RP. What Yo, happened to you niggas trying to jock his swag and doing it terribly? I hope it's a part of the topics, right? Uh, mm. After the shoes, the new creative director. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely is. Okay, boom. All right. What well, now? Let's finally get to it, Miss Blasi. Fucking. His dick was hard. He couldn't wait to fucking. Get <laughs> talk, to I have a couple things to this. say about the, this company and these shoes too, but okay. All right, sound it off, Blazy. So, Mischief released their big red boots. I think that they stormed the internet. Give all the details before you give your opinion. <laughs> the release date is February 16th via doing? their app. Two days. Bo- yeah, two days. Well, to, well, for today as you're watching it yeah. for 350 bucks. I mean, honestly, that's, that's a pretty good price. I was gonna say for like the just the virality on its own. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, it's it's a huge ass boot, like. Yeah, it's, and that, it's not it's not the craziest price. That's what I mean. It's <laughs> definitely, it's definitely justifiable. It's it's something you're not gonna be able to find, and uh, you know, I just want to pay them their respects. I think that they've been they've done a great job the last couple of years developing products. You've seen them release a lot of dope stuff. Who do you think as just of thought recently? of this? Like they were just sitting around the office, like. Somebody like hit a joint and was like, 
Well, mm. all their shoes are like hella crazy inspired with all these like you know the blood in the shoes and the yeah. all these like crazy little uh, um, alterations. Who the fuck is this? I don't know, but Ooh, that's like Diplo or some shit. Yeah, show. it looks like. I was gonna say this is some old know. ass white nigga. I don't know. But uh, uh, Diplo. I don't know if this this picture's on there, but I what I can say about these shoes is the boxing how they have them is super it's huge. impressive. It's a huge ass box. It's super impressive. Oh yeah, she wore them too. Aquila Ray wore it's them like, as well. It's like okay, look. It's like at this point. Does everybody just want them because everybody else has them? I think it's because they're extremely unique and they're like, they have this thing where there's certain products and things that go viral on YouTube or Instagram because mm -hmm. of how creative and insane it is, right? It's like mm -hmm. a product that would just go viral in itself and also it's available. And w what I want to say about Mischief, what I find interesting about them is there's a lot of other brands that I feel like make unique. <laughs> that was Yachty. Uh, they yeah, make like unique shoes lame. and really cool shoes that started. everyone everyone wants, but it it's only people could only get them once they release and if then it's probably only the richest people or the biggest celebrities right there's right. a lot of instagram like shoe reviewers and like just instagram people who like do fashion stuff like they've uh, gave these shoes for free to a hell of people you know what i mean like they do a good job at like marketing and giving their shoes to people for free that will actually just promote their brand better but that's exactly what i was saying is like hakeem got them yeah yeah, yeah sure. no I, I, hakeem was the first person to post them oh really yeah bible. i was the first one not bible seen. Hakeem was the first person to post them, and um, I just think that, like, like I said, it just like it started creating this craze within like the influencer community as people, where they're just like, like almost like offended, like, oh, like why didn't they send me a pair? Exactly. Yeah. Like you feel me? But like that's like. But I think it's it's already like kind of overplayed to just find the biggest celebrities and have them wear your products. Now it's like let me tap into who's actually like. Influencing yeah, like, people via Instagram, they may not be rich or super, you know, a big celebrity, but they're the dude on Instagram who does funny sh shoe reviews. Let me give them to him. You yeah, know? or like fucking the girl from the uh, the girl from the the, the Drake Twenty One Savage uh, album cover. Oh, that yeah. girl, like she, literally her right here. Oh no. really? And you know what? I heard Yachty set that and up. And she's with the homies belt. No, look, look, yeah, and stolen arts. And shout out to I'm gonna assume Hesh because. She was wearing this hat, but the blue one aren't like on her Instagram. Oh, really? Wow, that's random. Crazy. Yeah, that's fine. I have no idea how she got it, but I'm assuming it's gonna be. But good. I just want to. I just. I, I think that yeah. At the end of the day, Mischief is doing something very great. Sometimes I, I'm wondering like, how the fuck are they like that? How clever? are they like, coming they, up with this shit, bro? They got a really cold team Somebody, together. I think that they just smoke hella weed. Somebody hit the blunt and was just like, no, and, and they and they were like looking at the Astro Boy thing like. We should remake those and make them into real but here's the, red boots. But here's the thing. is like, look at all the animes and the shows that have a huge influence in our culture right now. Mm -hmm. Astro Boy is definitely one of them. Where a lot of people like like having the, the vibe or the you know image aesthetic of having some Astro Boy photo or you know mm -hmm. some Astro Boy. Like, a lot of people are into Astro Boy and know of him. So I don't think it's that crazy of like out-of-the-box thought. So are you getting these? If they I, gave you a free pair, are you wearing them? Hell yeah, but not... I can like, see your but here's the thing: is like, bro, like, what happens if you gotta like run or something? Like, I seen the video of the the girl from the Drake Twenty One Savage video uh, running with them and then jumping. It was fine. She was like, they used to do skating in them, and you could really yeah. argue that same. Thing yeah, what the like, fuck, nigga was busting tray flips yeah, and all yeah, types of shit in them. them. Yeah, and a, and a kick flip. Oh wow, you, you could Thank argue. You, flip, you could really argue that point with most shoes. Like, you know, most shoes probably aren't suitable to run in. Like these boots aren't. That's know? true. Most shoes you wear aren't suitable to run in, I would say. Nah, what you <laughs> mean? I, you know, I wear shoes that I can be like, uh, you know. I got some good athletic and... shoes, but you know, I'm, I'm no stranger to some boots. I, know, you know I just what know what if you, you get a crease in those, it's gonna look crazy. But I mean, they're cool. These they're boots? cool shoes. I probably wouldn't see myself in them, but man, I wish we had the Nigga, picture. You can't see yourself in anything besides Rosecrans with literally reloaded denim. <laughs> okay, but anyway, I wish we had the box and some free the box high rollers. Super dope. Yeah, shout out high rollers. I wonder what the inside looks like. I, I know wonder what the you, inside of you looks like. I, oh my oh, god! Man. I remember when you got, gave me the potatoes or whatever. The inside of those was just like a foam panel. It that was not, that shit was not actually wearable. Yeah, it was not wearable at all. It really wasn't. I'm for wondering real. what the inside of that looks but like. But on top of mischief, I do want to piggyback and say shout out to Imran Potato because yeah, I feel like he definitely once set the Imran, precedent for like the remix shoes. Imran Potato set the he walked so motherfuckers could hop out the embryo. <laughs> No, he crawled so they could run. Type. Yeah. No, he crawled so they could be born. So they're not even on his level. That's close. what I'm saying. 
I think he's doing a great job at it, but uh, I, I think do want to shout out a great to him. Job. Thank you, for real. But <laughs> I do want to shout him out for uh, uh, he, you know, he's continuously dropping the uh, new colorways and shit like that. I he still has, like, want the Vans, white bro. Pair. Yeah, the Vans we never got them. We never did. You know the homie that came here earlier from Unavailable. Shout out to Unavailable. Shout out to Unavailable. He uh, was supposed to sell me a pair, and this nigga just be capping to me. Wow. Damn. He seemed like a capper. I'm joking. I'm fucking <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. He was Damn. cool. I was as talking he to came, him. As he came to bring me free clothes, <laughs> and then also said that he's going to get everybody else's sizes and bring you guys <laughs> yeah, clothes. Yeah, shout too. out to Unavailable. I That's was joking. Crazy. No, he, was, he was chill. Yuri is n- Yuri. welcome to the back of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is literally. This thing is we're f- actually filming. In the back of the, the truck. episode in, in the, the back of a U-Haul, low key. That would actually be sick. It's like that, it'd be like Steve-O shit. Oh yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we could like be we could be real Steve-O shit. If we you know bust out fucking five thousand whippets. I'm All right, yo, Steve it up. I want to ask you guys this: How do you feel about Pharrell Williams becoming the new men's creative director at Louis Vuitton? Basically taking taking over the uh, spot that Virgil had. Who else? I think could have did it to where it really made sense, and it would have been as it would have been more impactful than Virgil, Kid Super. What? Then I did see people. Pharrell? I think so. No, no. Okay, listen. I did see people. The Kid that. Super stuff that they've been putting out, they've been amazing as fuck. Especially like on some just like quick collab, not quick, but like you know some collab shit or like let him design a collection. But becoming the whole creative director, no. I'm sorry. I think he has that creative energy though. That like kind of uh, nigga is Pharrell. We were talking about that. But <laughs> and I've heard and Pharrell kinda, has okay. literally like continue, like Bape would not be as impactful as it was or a, as uh, loved and celebrated as it was if it wasn't for Pharrell. He brought that shit to America. Uh, he created BBC ice cream. He created the ice cream shoes. Like he's done so much, like like nigga, Kid Super been doing shit for like what a couple years, m- maybe. Like Pharrell has like real feet in the fucking fashion game. Bro. He's well, heavily influenced. He by changed. Yeah. He changed the fucking like the energy of like what it was to like look like a rapper and be a rapper and like 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 you could be like had that skate swag and still be flashy and have big chains and like. Yeah. Like he he combines so much different shit. He's such a pioneer in in fashion, and I sense. think that this completely was the best move that they could have made. This I, is almost as impactful as Virgil, maybe even more. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep it real with you though. I hear you, and I understand your point from the context of like this guy is a innovator. He's changed uh, culture forever. But as far as products that he's brought to the table, name five. The ice cream shoes. Uh, billionaire boys club shirts, uh, ice cream skate team and skate video, and uh, his fucking that crazy custom fashion. jewelry. All those things that I just. But named. also, he's but, like heavily influenced by Japanese culture, yeah, like he, with yeah, Migo yeah, stuff facts. and all that shit. So I'm expecting that all the new Louis Vuitton stuff to have this bubbly look to it. Well, I think does. I think Even, that to be honest, from my perspective, I think they're trying to incorporate more of that skate look. And so there was like Pharrell was like the perfect person to bring on. I guess that makes sense, yeah. Especially that new skate shoe they just came out with and them that signing the skater. I think that was a perfect thing for them to kid do. Kid Super so. knows nothing about well, he's not really I think, by skateboarding. Really. Not like Pharrell. The Kid yeah. Super shit, like the stuff that he did with Louis Vuitton that we looked at what like a couple weeks ago, uh-huh. that shit was on par <laughs> with Virgil's yeah. Creations. No, it was creative as fuck, crazy as fuck. And I don't want to discount, you know, Pharrell's legacy because that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just you saying, can't. It, yeah, you can't. But what what I'm saying is, as far as like developed products, like you know, who has that repertoire at the end of the day? I think that he's done a great job of like developing style and influencing millions of people to design and to just put that shit on. <clears throat> yeah, but as far as like, I think like that's probably like the most biggest important job right now in fashion is just being the creative director at Louis Vuitton, and you know, and uh, going after Virgil. Those are those are huge uh, shoes to fill. You know, that's a big ass seat that you're gonna have to sit in. Yeah. You got to know what you're gonna do. So. You know, um, I am excited, but I don't think that uh, I think that there would have been better candidates. Like I think Kid Super, you know, deserved it. He also won the um, you know, there's a, like a, a designer competition, like an official one. Yeah, 
he won the he, it was with Louis Vuitton. Yeah, the the LVMH award or whatever for like best designer. <coughs> that shit went. And crazy. I feel like you know it's because his shit was like so like like I said it was on par with the stuff that Louis Vuitton and his I mean that uh with the stuff that Virgil and his team were creating at Louis Vuitton. Yeah, it was like literally like like if you close your eyes and you picked up one, you wouldn't know which one like who designed which. But one. I I. I think it was you, you were choked that brought it up earlier. Even like someone like uh, uh, Nigo, I think he would have been a more um, qualified candidate, you know? Yeah, and Nigo, Nigo has already done like the human made collabs with them and shit like that. It, it would have made Shout sense. And he, he was there with Pharrell, and I think Virgil was part of the story too, but like they, they were They're there all developing. Like in, in, a, in a conglomerate. They developed the millionaire sunglasses. Yeah. You know? Pharrell was there when they made them, you know, for so uh, put some fucking respect on Pharrell because think about Pharrell, how many man. niggas is wearing those glasses. No, nah, Pharrell's the go. I'm just saying as far as like, you know, I'm not I'm not a big fan of like those. Uh, uh, what was it like the the human shoes or whatever the human, fuck? The, oh, like, oh, human races. Human races. I hated those. Yeah, too. those are nah, a lot of people love those. I, I know. know the only so people baby who Tron love those. <laughs> <laughs> that that is baby, baby Tron's, Tron's shoe. favorite shoe. That's like a baby Tron, like. That's like Cash or Quan, like Amiri's, some human races, and like a Bay hoodie. Yo, speaking of baby Tron, did you guys see he was arrested recently for possession of a controlled substances, controlled substances, substances or whatever? Maybe. Does that mean that he had some lean in, or probably probably just lean? Yeah. Also, shout out to him. I was a. Uh, uh, I'll just spill the beans on here. I was uh, hit up by Dot uh, Com Nirvana to come out in a music video. That's fire. As is like uh, talking to them. Uh, as like his fucking. Um, I don't know, like it's Hitman or something like that. We have like a casino Whoa, layout. No way. It was hella dope. Hopefully it he did comes it out. Already. Oh, huh? Blasi in his acting already? bag. I know, yeah. for real. Blasi hey, put me in my acting bag. No, shout out to Yuri because he's been all over the fucking runs Instagram. Yeah, like, this motherfucker is the face of this shit, so <laughs> I fuck Yo, with it. Speaking of Yuri being in a commercial, I'm doing a release this weekend, but... I still need, you know, some assets. I still need content that I got to film. Mm. And uh, I was talking to Bobby Astro about filming just some quick shit. Shout out, Bobby. Shout out to Bobby. Yeah. You down to be like a angry coach? Yeah, I told you. Yeah, you already asked me about this. Did I'm I? down, yeah. All right. Um, we might have to do it tomorrow. I'm yo. Not, okay. Let me know what time. Because tomorrow is a thing that we're going to talk about next that I kind of was thinking about streaming. Mm. I feel like mm. it would be interesting. Okay. What or no? But like, I was, I was gonna say, let me know because it's not like I don't have What's to do. What's the thing? It. Are we sorry? Having... Supreme's opening oh. their new store on Sunset. Ooh. It comes out tomorrow. It opens Fe- up February sixteenth. It's on Sunset and what? Uh, what, time? what day is I it? I don't know exactly what's the cross oh, street, but it's like where Sunset 15, Strip starts. 15. You know what I mean? Like oh, it's okay. kind of like right there where all the bars and stuff what? like that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Repeat that. You said it's on Sunset or Hollywood? Where, where, where? It's like on Sunset Strip, right where Sunset Strip starts. Like you know? where like Amoeba's at? Or, no. or you're talking about more towards like Guitar Center? No, I'm saying what, like uh, like way down, way further down where all like those rest- like Boa Steakhouses like around, well, actually like a little bit further oh. back, but where all those bars are. Where those like famous bars? Uh, the, like, like Whiskey A Go-Go? Yeah, like, like stuff like that. Like, like Roxy, Yeah, exactly, that? exactly. It's like around oh, that wow. area. It's around that area. Oh, like more towards yeah, the Beverly tell. Hills. Yeah. Yeah, you know exactly. Where, no, no, no. Oh, you like, know like, where it looks like? Where, uh, uh, what's pink, that shit pink called? Taco? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's that shit called? It was the store that used to be right there. Uh, I forgot. I, uh, I, that building's been there forever. I recognize the building because I remember the, the stair set in front of it. Man, they trying to just have kids. Man, just that's what I was thinking. Running, first of all, skating all of, it's gonna be so much traffic on that street, it's gonna be ridiculous. This bro. is crazy. This is interesting because as soon as I saw this photo, this street looks empty right now, probably because they took it at six in the morning. That street is hella freaking busy, and cars yeah. are going like 40 50 miles per hour. Kids are gonna for sure want to skate that stair set. Someone's going to get injured. I'm, I could predict it yeah. almost. Uh, mm. Oh, they got a bowl again inside. That's dope. God damn, this shit look crazy. Man. That shit is dope, man. I don't want to sound lame or whatever, but that's like no homo goals right there. Like, I'm so glad I've got, I've been, I was able to skate the old Supreme Bowl before. Like, that shit was dope. You skated that shit before? Yeah, like a couple times. Who brought me in there? Uh, or someone, I think someone brought me in there a long time ago, but I didn't get to skate it. Yeah. It was a, it was a double Damn, bowl. But that's a, that's this is the end of an era, bro. And the start of a new. I era, would literally bro. have no reason to go back on. Fairbanks. Hey, that stair set is dope. We got mad run up too. I'm telling you. <laughs> nah, you I know mean, what, you know what I was thinking about what about how like Diamond low key is like 
old enough to be like retro and tight again. Kind of, yeah. almost. Well, We're like five years away. No, nah, I think nah. that I think that trends reappear every like twelve to sixteen years. It, it has to be like rare, like diamond, like. Nigga, where's like the the canceled like Iron Maiden fucking diamond? Oh, uh, yeah. No, diamond. I, I want the one with the shorty with the fucking diamond that's in her all, mouth or something. Yeah, like the photo team. That's what I'm saying. Like, nigga, Bro. that shit. It's it's vintage enough for that shit to be hard hey, nowadays. Hey, I need the DMND. You know oh, what we need? Yeah. Like, no, what if you we have- need that? We need the the FTP diamond collab. That'll be hard. Oh, that would, that be, would hard. be crazy. Hey Zach, if you watching this, hey Zach, I need ten percent. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Wait, did I just do the idea? <laughs> He's probably already been working on it for six I months. Know, I know. <laughs> He's like, oh, all right, bro, this is the lawyer. No, no. I, I fucking want some of that. The, the fucking FTP Thrasher. I got some of that. We could tell. Uh, Shout out to it. Zach, man. <laughs> Shout out to Zach. Oh yeah, man. I do have it on, man. Shut- oh fuck, I do. Okay, yeah, I had it on. Yeah, I, was, I got this shit on. I had that shit on. <laughs> that, that, shit that was on. crazy. Come on, no, now that was the hard. That was the most subtle flex and? ever. And the bigger flex straight from Zach. Shout out Zach. Zach, I got I got the tat, and you, I don't <laughs> have the bat, the box. Man, Zach's the homie, man. He's somebody that's how to support. I have a live stream board. clip of me uh, coming up to Zach at an Aspie. You know what's going, crazy? Going, hey, Blasi Zach, what's was up? was in the middle of saying something, and you just said, fuck him. No. Yeah. <laughs> he was talking. I'm, I was just defending you, my bad, bro. Me too. Hey, but home. back, but back to the yeah. diamond shit. I follow this. Uh, I still follow the homie Philly Blunt. He works at Diamond, and he he be still be posting some cold pieces though. From so I'll be like, yeah, from Diamond. Oh, like old pieces or new pieces? No, new pieces. Oh, okay. So no, I'm like, looking for the vintage Diamond man. Listen, I'm looking for the Iron Maiden Diamond shirt, bro. I, I think it got canceled. Like they couldn't. Yeah, yeah. This this or something. Huh? Yeah, type shit. F- fuck all that. I mean, I feel like I say <laughs> this like every other episode. What? Like, I, I, I really think that like all the odd future shit is gonna get retro very soon. Like, and guess who's the, gonna uh, be a fucking gazillionaire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. After all the things you've stolen from behind the camera. Yeah, right. I bro, still shit. Out of all the fucking packages that stolen Lucas tees and yeah, shit. Bro, yeah, bro. Right. Nigga got so much. Hell of packages fell off the back of the truck when Toka's there. Yeah, all I'm right. saying <laughs> is, that if you have a free Earl shirt right now, you probably are entitled mm. like 500 bucks. Bro, bro you still got any of those uh, nigga hats? I do got one. That shit probably. I cool. need one. It's not covered it's in salt and like actually uh, actually yeah, yeah, that seaweed. Nigga, yeah, that nigga. <laughs> it smells like a bonfire. <laughs> like that it's, shit. it's not. See me. I'm really good on keeping keeping shit on ice for a long time. I'd be like, I'm, I just won't wear it. You hide it under the sand of the beach. No, I just won't wear it. <laughs> you bury that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the treasure chest. I just, I, I, just wear, I just won't wear it. Ten year capsule. <laughs> you put that shit in treasure map. <laughs> <laughs> And X he marks said buried the under sand. <laughs> no, he said X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said bury under sand. That's just funny. As fuck. Hell no. Nah. Oh. You kind of got like a uh, like a matcha fit right now. Like, matcha tea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the dark green foam top. Oh, oh, oh yeah. There, go, there goes your fucking phone. Was that your phone? I'm so sorry. That, that shit it's fell cool. down. It's, it's like. It's already me anyway. It's all good. Or was that Ezo's phone? You should just. my phone. Okay. I would have dropped it for you if you gave it to me. Jeez. Oh, my How someone just threw his phone over a 20 foot drop? Yeah, like. To the, <laughs> to the it went like the, the wrong way. <laughs> I was like. And they could do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, I was about to like try to throw it like over arm. Nigga, it's like an alley oop this Literally, nigga down yeah. the stairs. Oh, all right, so all right. we got the uh, the Face Clan Babe Collection featuring my boy Fulcrum. Shout bro. out to Yo. Fulcrum, Yo. dude. Fulcrum, come in. This and, made sense so and much. Reconnected supporter, apparently, man. Shout yeah, out shout out Fulcrum, oh, talk man. Like. Shout out to my boy Fulcrum, man. Reconnected supporter. Exactly. Oh, well, should we? Yeah, why not? Ful- uh, Fulcrum tapped in, and he was like, "Got, got to come on, biggest bros to entertainment." And I was just wow. like, "I was like, everyone fucking wants him on." We've been saying how we want him on, so that would be amazing. Oh, well, Fulcrum, pull up next. He week, loves I'm vape. He phased, tapped- phased in a hoe, bro. Phased, phased in, a in a hoe. Phased. He looks high as shit right Aped here. Aped in a hoe. Aped in a hoe. This shit made makes sense because he he works with and is a fan of both nah, groups. He's throwing you up know? an F for uh, Phase Clan and F for Faded in a hoe. For real, bro. Dri- this uh, dripped in a hoe. This is this is actually hard. Blazzy's yeah. clenching his fist because he didn't get to work on this one. This uh, I'm joking. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, got, I ain't gonna lie. Shit, uh, this, <laughs> this cocaine bear. 
Bro, that bro. seems like the worst movie. This oh, are you ever. joking? It's the, it's the best movie ever. Cocaine <laughs> Bear. Oh, it's my like God. You ever seen the trailer for I that? saw the trailer and I wanted to watch it. Hold on. Oh, no. Can we to zoom it. into this bear real quick? Like, is that shit real? No. No, bro. Yo, bro. Just his ass, his ass yo, bro. Yo, bro. You're joking, right? He's you think dapping Fulcrum up the is bear. just fucking just faded in the hole, just <laughs> <laughs> dapping up a bear. The bear. It could fool me. I'm not you gonna think, lie to you. You think this fucking uh, snowman is real too? I mean, this snowman <laughs> is real, bro. Frosty the snowman. You think Fulcrum Means is real? The show. Or you think it's CGI? Jeezy <laughs> the snowman. Bro, mm. bro, this oh, this easy. Face this, Clan Bape is insane. Yeah, though, this right? is hard, bro. Yeah. Honestly. Like who would have saw that coming? Like I don't know. Like that's kind of like I would I would not expect Bape to to be like oh I'm collab with Phase, you know? Yeah. Hey man, Phase. Bro, of it's that like shit, like w- once you learn that all this Faze. shit is just once you learn that all this shit is just licensing and just like uh yeah you just, just buy like, it you buy the licensing man, yeah I'll like, take the whole no we're all about a bag out here this shit man is so hard DB about to buy it. I, like, I fuck with Face Clan and I fuck with the Bape. Me too man shout out to the good. I'm not gonna lie this is a lazy ass weak ass collab but on some real shit. Like the idea was uh, okay. The only wearable item out of this is maybe the white shirt. It's political for me. I can't really speak on it. Yeah, I, I fuck with Hey, listen, thing. I'm not gonna ever tell you to fuck your bag up, but this is a lazy ass collab. Just I know. fuck with all the pe- the shorts and the white. Honestly, tea, the I fuck only the thing most. that was cool about this was the fact that Full Crumb was uh, modeling it. No, yeah, I'm smart. really like being as completely honest as I'm. I'm here for the Full Crumb lookbooks, man. Shout out to my boy Full Crumb for all his recent success. He goes hella hard, man, and he needs to be on Reconnected ASAP. Yes, sir. Hey, listen, Five man. Show. We, but before we get into the music news, I think we have done. Okay, but before we get, <laughs> before we get into uh, music segment, I meant. Um, oh, we're talking to your mic. Before we get into music segment, I think we should uh, we should really like think on camera, like who who would really fit in well to replace on these. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait, we do. Have if to... he gets fired for the third time, bro, is like, what's going yeah, on I'm right get, now? I'm getting fired. Yeah, that's well, not a uh, We do have to find a, a replacement for the next two episodes. No, literally, oh. I I thought you were being funny, but actually, he was yeah. being right. We no, do. I want yeah, I want to be for two episodes. Yeah, full crumb. Full come crumb in? be great. Full crumb could come in. <laughs> <laughs> We could Yo, also have game. Ezo. Honestly, the chat too. You know, if the chat just wants to go ahead and send some recommendations. We just have a monitor with the chat right here as one of the. <laughs> Should we bring D Savage back? Oh, D Savage would be dope. Would they be love sick. that episode. No, that would, that would be fire. Everyone loved that episode. I'm There's definitely down for D Savage on Elon there. Musk. He liked one of our posts. Shut the fuck. No, up. I'm joking. <laughs> you <laughs> believe? Like, Yo, right? what if? Cause someone check Elon Musk following, see if. You follow like I mean, the biggest bro is there and follows him <laughs> like biggest bro meme. Oh page. yo, can, can, can the meme pages make like just the biggest celebrities like follow a follower list and it says be you know biggest bros entertainment yeah. under the list? That would actually be funny. Like I don't know, uh, Livery King follows us or Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just gonna say Hasbulla. Trump, imagine Trump followed us. Who would actually like? Okay, it would it would have to be somebody crazy. It had to be either just Jason Momoa. Who the fuck, Who's the fuck that? is that? Mermaid, uh, merman. Who the fuck is that? No one wants merman. <laughs> you said Birdman. <laughs> Merm, Aquaman. Uh, sorry, I said merman. Oh, Aquaman. the deep. I don't the know. Deep. No, <laughs> I never watched the deep. But no, it's a movie called Aquaman, and he was the lead guy. Y'all need to watch the boys. The boys. Bro, I saw, like, I saw, bro been, you guys I've have been, been talking about the boys for. I've been off. We kicking years. it with the boys. The boys. We, is a good we show. are the boys. No facts. Okay. Um. Fuck. The biggest who, bros. Who biggest boys. Homelander here. Homelander. Here? What the fuck no, is that? Nobody's home. Wait, have here. you guys watched? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We don't have a homelander. Speaking of <laughs> shows, have you guys watched White Lotus? No, no. I'm, Please, I'm telling you, I have never asked you for really? a favor. Is ever. that good? Never asked you for a favor in my life. I don't think it's that good. Really? I'm not sure if that's true or not. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> you might have asked me to like get a fucking ass pizza shirt or something. Um, actually, you know what? No, actually, I have to bring this up because it's an old memory of mine. But when I first first got with Riley and mm-hmm. she first moved out here, we like officially got a spot together, whatever it is. Riley's like, I got to get a job. So she wanted to um, get a, at a hair salon or even do hair stuff at home. And I hit up you and uh, wow. and someone else. And I was like, can you guys post you know, my girlfriend's thing on, on, oh, on Instagram dude. to shout her hair thing? And you were like, I got you. I usually charge blah, blah, blah but I got <laughs> I, was like, I was like, shout I, out to house phone. Bro, that's when my shit was at peak premium. Like, I had like 100,000 followers. I know. I had 
my story my story views used to be fucking retarded like for no reason you but fell i off, think dude. i just did it didn't i i'm joking <laughs> Fuck you. No, bro, no, I know you, you said you would do it, but I never actually tapped into do it because we like. How we, did you get that Instagram it deleted anyway? Bro, you gotta think about it. That was my that was my first Instagram. Wow, that's like sad. that was like my first Instagram like from high school. Do you shit. have old yeah. photos on there? Like you hell lost yeah, and shit. Are you God joking? It, that sucks. There was pictures that were only on there. I hate hearing stories about this because I'm all, I'm in a similar situation where I'm on my first Instagram and everything's Man. all uh, creamy and shit like that. It's just like fuck. bro, just don't be stupid like me and just don't post stupid shit. You I don't, don't mean, but you know what? No, when I when I was out there in Vegas, what I did, I saw I saw someone repost my my weed bags. Right, the mm. runs collab. No more over here thinking I'm sweet. Like, oh, okay, yeah, now available in California, Miami, uh, New York. That's stupid as fuck to say. Instantly oh. removed. I got a new strike now. But what I uh. am excited and I finally confirmed is the strikes do disappear after a whole year. So, yeah, but I was getting the hell. I'm really too. excited in May. Hey, you you got to think about it too. Like, I'm sorry, I mean to cut you off. You got to think about it. I'm the type of nigga, if I got time. I'm arguing back with niggas in the comments all day long. Nah. I've noticed. I've, <laughs> I'm surprised, too, because you're also the type of person to say, like, uh, like I don't have time to that, like, uh, for that. Like, I won't waste facts. my time for the, in the yeah. DMs. No, but facts, then I, but will, I, I will go to the comment section and see you, like, arguing with people, going, like, no, you're an yeah. idiot. You're yeah, like, fuck yeah. you, you pussy. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I, 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 I made it clear to say if I got the time, mm. I would sit there all day and argue with niggas. No, why? I will. No, listen, like me. I just think it's funny. Sometimes. I'm big. I'm big on the restrict button and block. It's you know, mm. if I'm here to like to uh, optimize like my like social that. media experience, why the fuck do I want to read any of that shit? You feel me? And I'm gonna delete. Uh, I'm not gonna lie though. Like especially like, bro. Right now, I'm getting more story views than I have followers. Whoa. Like I probably got like sixteen thousand followers right now, yeah. which I had eight thousand followers like a week ago. Rikishi effect. I see a story bro, from. Stop a... saying that, bro. That's not a thing. The Rikishi effect is, <laughs> is some real like shit. Stop saying that. No, dude. no. Hold on, hold on. Can, can, can I take the floor go, for a second? Yeah, listen, go. listen, bro. Can I take the floor for a oh, now take you're it. gonna talk into the mic. Yes, and the Rikishi <laughs> effect is something real, and it's something that I'm coining. So the motherfuckers out there trying to say, "Oh, I've been." Cause you know Wingstop went ahead and took the chicken and sprite shit to another level, oh, right? <laughs> Bro, I oh, think you're yeah, the man. only person on earth talking about Rikishi anything. No, but like, thank you. I, like, <laughs> so thank this you. will this will prove my point. You're trying to roast him? He's no, like, thank you. I'm proving my point. Yeah, no motherfucker was talking about Rikishi. Let's just met, let's just let the record. Nah, straight. but it, it it makes perfect sense. As soon as you explained it, I'm like, damn, bro, you're being Rikishi. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! But you got to get an Uber out of here. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I'm over these. She's like, I changed my mind. I'm nah, but you got shit. Rikishi then. Whoa! You know he just put his well, ass yeah. in niggas' face. <laughs> I right? know. With the thong. Yo, with the thong. You gotta show your ass out. Hey, you, you got a Rikishi then It's crazy. I'll Rikishi you. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought you were going like way more deep philosophical. This nigga said you got a Rikishi them. Hey, hey wait, hold on. Now that we have this new, sorry to cut you what? off, but now that we have this new group, we can create like different this is ways the same of same group. No, 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 <laughs> no, but, no, but it's new as well. We're even reconnected, sitting, we're, reconnected. We're even sitting the same way no. that we used to. See. Biggest Bros <laughs> Entertainment is a whole new thing, no, and I'm fact. saying that's we could come up bros. with our own hazing thing for new employees, maybe new interns. Rikishi. No. Nigga, no. By, by household and blast. This nigga's yeah. trying to make the no, work environment Richie. already by uncomfortable. Richie, Richie right. has, no, Yuri no, has no, lost one percent point. Oh. We're good. I oh, lost ownership. <laughs> I lost. I got forty. Like, we're good. <laughs> okay, who? Okay, Blazzy is automatically biggest bro at the table because he funded. Hey, you claim. Hey, but, the show. but we're we're all paying. It's all coming out of our paychecks for the next eight months. Apparently. We have no paychecks. What are you talking about? Yeah, Wait, this is not like we have to make pay- money for us to have paychecks. I just spent all day. Who's I was all day. I was spending all day here, dude. What the fuck? I know. Who, hey, I got pizza. You? I got pizza for wow. you. You know, but like, I got pizza we just know you. that Chris is getting an invoice from Paul, nah, me, this, House you know, Phone, and Riley. <laughs> we just on here having fun. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Joking, yeah. If I need to pay some bills, I'll, I'll hop on my laptop. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, on Photoshop. No, exactly. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a Make couple. A I'll send a couple emails, upload, boom. 
you know what I'm by saying? The boom, but, by the bing. but beyond all that, man, like I'm, I'm here to have some fun. Like exactly, you know, percentage shit. Like I said, it's like you know we're we're gonna be arguing over pennies at one point. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's not even like exactly. It's not like we have like ooh like bro. So this this you know every view is a dollar. So we're gonna you know get X amount. Right? It's like, no. Yeah. Nah, but you know what, bro? I vibe, really, man. We vibing. I, I really think the people are gonna appreciate, you know, the drama list, just like consistent. Because, like, honestly, at one point, it was just like, bro, this shit is, like, this shit is not getting fun no more. And, like, that was really one of the main reasons why I kind of was just like. What did Drake say? The moment I'm done having fun with it, I'll be done with it. Mm. You know? What's that song What called? song you said that on? Yeah, He's, I don't know. He, I one saw it on like, Google. He either said it on that <laughs> that song with Jack Harlow, or he said it on one of the Twenty One. He Savage said some like he no, he said some shit like that. I was like nothing with Jack Harlow. That was that back. Hard. That was back in Take Care days or whatever. Nah, but I just nah, want to say like you never. know, I'm really excited for the future because you know we have a lot of people rooting for us. We have a lot of people on the other side praying for the downfall. You know, but like I think as long as we're consistent, we actually hold ourselves accountable. I don't, I don't know, you know Blasi. What I'm I don't know if Blasi was sure if I was coming today. Or I not. was not sure if you're coming today, <laughs> motherfucker. But this nigga has my location i don't I understand have, why no he we don't me. we don't need location either blasi said this earlier and i agree we need we all three of us need the keys to your house yeah that's, that's cool we so that if you're what is leaving here if you're ignoring us we get to go knock on your door I'm and if you're like your in your boxers and like one sock on what if watching I'm mid watching i don't know what if i'm mid stroke lotion why is this everywhere? nigga imagine this <laughs> nigga half naked off <laughs> right just to set us up like okay i'm supposed to be there at 4 p.m <laughs> It's 3.45. I'm just going to get naked right now. No, nah, listen, listen. We just what in. if y'all walk in and I got the fucking nipple tassels on from the, nah. from, the from, from the burlesque? I'm leaving your ass there. And I just, and, and I'm like aggressively beating my dick. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, ocean flying everywhere. I'm going to be like, bro, we're all trying to make this work right now. And you're ignoring us to do this? Yeah. I'd, I'd have been like, yeah, okay, have a good wait. time. Okay, okay. So <laughs> No, I'm re-disconnecting your ass. <laughs> Fuck all that. Wait, wait, you gonna plug take plug his in. hand away from the cock? Wait, what? No, no, <laughs> no, no. Wait, no, honestly, no, I, that's that I would don't try my- to I would take my phone out and go live immediately. I'd be like, bro, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> now now he's looking crazy and you just lost your Instagram. Yeah. Or your YouTube, where the fuck you're dealing with, yeah. but like well, he has ta- nipple tassels on, nothing's bro, visible. He said he's beating nah, dick. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. never mind. Okay, like, like, I, like I'm a, I got porn on a projector. <laughs> How can porn I like on a projector is out of control? <laughs> okay, let you tell it. You, 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 you think I'm watching I'm porn? Sure I'm sure you're not watching no, porn. I know if Ali and and your daughter is upstairs asleep or something, <laughs> nigga, you are downstairs in you the think me- I'm watching in the throwing movie on, theater with the door locked. Throwing on that bro, dog yeah, porn you were talking me, about me, last time. Y'all niggas think I'm watching me, me porn, the dog on, porn on Twitter. 200 inch. Y'all niggas are crazy. Bro, I know you be beating me to fucking nah. dog porn on Twitter. You're I party. love how Toke had to film the fact that he made a rose trail to his theater the other day. Yeah, bro. You're like, you're like, uh-huh. No, he, he went up. He was going up, you know? Yeah, man, man. My, it's too my cliche. Girl, it's too cliche. Yuri, come Your on. shirt's cliche, nigga. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Riley's rolling her eyes. She's like, I would have loved it. God damn it. Yeah, who yeah. would have loved it, man? Come on now. Oh, he, yeah, you he, took her to the... He's going to throw you under the bus. Hey, yeah, because he took Riley to the Tassel Titty Bar or whatever. <laughs> yeah. He took her to Titty Tuesdays. <laughs> Babe, I want to have a good night with you, sir. Where the drinks oh. are, tre- are cheap and the hoes are cheaper. <laughs> oh Biggest, hey, listen, come. Make sure y'all tune in to the unfiltered version. Biggest hoes where we got strippers, <laughs> butt naked. You can host that. <laughs> That's not going down at this office. Yes. As, we got as work one, to no, do. No, 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 as no, one no. fourth I'm, owner. No, listen, listen. Biggest Bros Entertainment is a network. Yes. I'm going to start streaming at my crib by myself. On this channel? Biggest hoes. Oh, God. No, dude. No, we're going to lose, lose everything we worked for. Yeah. <laughs> Within one night. <laughs> I mean, we didn't. I, we have these mics, still, So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to stream no at the crib. YouTube's going to come fucking destroy our mic. <laughs> 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 They're going to be like, no, no. They're going to be like, no, are, no, no. You guys no. are done. What, what, what if, hold on. What if Household, because the new Steve will do it, and, like, you're permanently oh annexed God. from YouTube, 
And we just gotta be like, bro, you can't come on the stream anymore. Yeah. You're gonna have to put like white face on. You or something. For my down, you're praying on my downfall right now. <laughs> <laughs> in all fairness, you know. fairness Steve O'Doo is doing some wow shit. What was he doing? Giving away stuff and no, he was like changing drink. people's lives? No, nah, he was having his well, co host uh, watch him jerk off with tassels okay, on his Okay, he nipples. was tripping. No, I think he was like <laughs> eating 10,000. He's got some Dove Sharn. Uh, uh, what's the nigga named yeah, Dove he was, like, abuse, he was just abusing shit. All on, I don't know. He's just crazy. He was a. Abusing his bitch. Man, I fuck with. <laughs> what then? No, I, don't I fuck with Steve. Will do it, bro. No, I fuck with Steve. Will do it as well. Too. Speaking of no abusing their Playboy your, Cardi, your Lord Savior, my King. I can't what? believe that they would put these lies in. Oh, and, and <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's hey, crazy. So wait, I can't believe that? they would put this defamation on story. Crazy. No, nah, I know. Honestly, at some point you gotta separate the art from the art. <laughs> That's insane. Why can't I wear my jacket then? Why can't <laughs> yeah. I wear my jacket then? You can wear it all day long. I'm gonna help you out. <laughs> Go ahead. So you're you're still bumping a whole lot of red. Nigga, never too much. <laughs> 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 bro, that nigga said Rockstar bro, made. He told us in 2018 on uh what's that song that's like that, that's the first song on Die Lit. Uh, I'm gonna go fuck that bitch. I'm gonna go smash that bitch. I'm going to choke my pregnant girl. Dude. No, listen. He oh. said, she got me mad as shit, so I smacked the bitch. Oh. He literally said that on the song. Wow. He been to telling us. So he's real. Iggy Azalea told us that when the PS5 came out and she was pregnant in the hospital, that nigga decided to go to Philly and play PS5 with Lil Uzi Vert than rather to be there where his fucking son was born. <laughs> if that's not the realest nigga I ever heard in my life. What the fuck are we talking about? If I bro? did that, you'd be like, "You're such a nerd. No, you weren't there for your girl." No, nigga, that's your hardest fuck. Bro, that shit is hardest fuck. You're gonna be a horrible dad. Yo, what play with Cardi, you? bro. You gotta get it bro, together, bro. He let oh, his fuck. kid be born with his fucking Australian girl by herself. But you gotta think about it. There's She's, no PS5s in Australia. They're rich. First of all, they're rich, right? So like she got a bunch of nannies and shit like that. Like she wasn't really alone. It's just a, a he thing wants you, to act, she wants to act like oh my god he left me. But like it's just a rare moment in life that you know. That's what happen I'm all the time. saying. Like no no you talking about the PS5 coming out right? No I'm talking about the pregnancy. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> just, the fuck is this? The rare is moment. Crazy. Bro, like bro the kid. What the the kid's gonna grow up and want to play PS5, bro. Nigga, nigga, it's gonna, gonna be like PS90 90 by like, the kids trying to grow up. It's gonna be like PS6. If there's PS1. one thing I've learned today is that you shouldn't be a father anytime soon. Why? Because you're just gonna play the new PS5 I game, know. bro. Fuck all I that might, shit. I might play the new whipping canister. Oh, what are you talking no. about? Instead of the PS5, while the kid is born. So you're gonna do whippets while your kid's being born? 1,000% I would fuck around and do some shit like that on accident. On accident. Like, not even on purpose. Accidentally do whippets. Take your girl's Oops. like gas mask and be like, sorry, babe, I know you're Oops. in pain, but. That's I'm like, babe, here. I'm on the way. Like, don't worry about it. Oh, hell. <laughs> nah, I'm getting wing stop real quick. Bro, here's the thing with meeting up with house phone, I've mm. realized recently, is if you have to meet at a certain time, you text you at that time, and you're like, all right, I'm going to be there, but I'm grabbing Wingstop first. You always grab Wingstop first. It's like your go-to thing. I grabbed Wingstop today. I didn't grab it that. How yes. do you eat Wingstop so often? I It was the Super Bowl, Yuri. Why are you acting like I did something crazy about going to get wings? No, but you do eat Wingstop a lot. I right? really don't. Your asshole must it be was like torn. the Super Bowl. Yo, what's that? Uh, 60 yeah. cent wings. Shout out to Ezo Cuts. Ezo right, Cuts Ezo said Cuts the wings the are 60 cents on Monday and Tuesday. Wing stuff for me Yuri, is like a once Yuri, a month thing. Yuri. People eat hot wings and shit during the Super Bowl. Okay. <laughs> but then today. That was the last time you see me eat wings. What's today? I just Bowl? said that I didn't eat, I didn't bring that. Ezo brought it. I asked Ezo where he was at. When he was going to get food and he was already at Wingstop. I thought you requested I even, it. I didn't even have an oh, option of wow. like picking okay. anything. Like I was like, can you bring me a sandwich? And it was fucking delicious. <laughs> I, dr I drenched it in ranch and I wish I had ordered another <laughs> one. You ordered a tub of ranch. During the yeah, you did. Bro, it's oh. called a family pack. It comes with it. No. Bro, it, you that get was so not, offended about you your food. Joking, right? hey, like, I hey, thought it was milk at hey, first. I'm like, bro. Hey, what? Hey, I, spent, I spent $80 thing. on that for this nigga to talk shit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, no fuck you, <laughs> bitch ass nigga. I bought these wings for everybody. <laughs> I didn't bro, get any. You didn't ask for They're literally in front of you. There's kids dying overseas. You just had a tub of ranch. I know. For They're real. just fucking. And guess what? You I just can't. treat it like a basketball when you do it in the <laughs> trash can, bro. Bro, I'm like dipping celery sticks in that bitch. You're oh, dipping that. your fingers. You're just like yeah. playing with that shit, yeah. bro. That, it was huge, bro. 
You were drinking out of it with a straw at a certain point. (laughs) I was about to put my dick in it and just start fucking. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. (laughs) Putting your dick in it. All right, man. Listen, I think we should end it here, man. Are we going to? I think this is a good. Hold on. I I want to say one thing, though. One thing I've still been consistently listening to is Kodak, man. Shout out to Yak. I've been fucking with I took a sample of that meth. Nah, I fuck with the song Maui with the most right the now. The meth makes no, me listen, stress. No, listen. I need somebody to make a compilation of all the times Kodak has mentioned doing meth. It's Why? Me- it's a lot. I just think that, like, I just think that it's funny I that never, he just, I, I never really heard him mention that. No, he said it, like, five, like six at times. at least five times. My favorite least, one. So minimal. So he has ones where he just, like, he says, I, I did a sample of the meth. I tried it. A lot. But he also has one where he's like, uh, uh, you fucking with me, you must be doing meth. And it sounds like he's speaking from experiences, like. That I don't know. It. That was just, like, a crazy bar. Maybe he do probably take no, a little so meth. So he definitely like, a does. Little <laughs> what if he wake and bake the meth? Oh, I mean, my he God. said he, he he did he did uh, he was doing spice and shit like he's he's, he's a wild he's a wild man. man. Have he's you guys lit. ever wake and bake the coke? No, no, that's what the fuck. Like I need to at least like get my day started a little. Maybe bit. like in high school or something. I've not like slept and it was the morning. Yeah, I guess you could call that wake. I mean, yeah, I'm talking no, but I'm talking about like, just like wake up first thing you do is the nah, coke. I've okay. never been. I've never been a nigga. I've never like been. That. That. I I've never be been like, that crazy. I know a I homie that was like, though. I had to be, you know, like have some type of alcohol in my system. Like I had to like have a, a, a day first yeah. and then do that. Mm-hmm. Unless I'm already on that from the night before. Like I said, I felt that. Yeah. yeah. That's um, crazy. So are we <clears throat> going to do these live after this? I think we should. I'm know. definitely going to upgrade the Wi-Fi, guys. We can count on doing this shit live next week. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm oh, gonna get next the... week? I was going to say, like, let's get our feet wet. Like, let's do two pre-recorded ones and then we okay. could. Yeah, well, gonna... let, let's see what the let's audience feedback the... is. Okay. No, you know what? <clears throat> Uh, you're you're not you're leaving next week. Yeah, I leave it on Tuesday. So I would say we can pre-record one one before I leave, and then wait. No, no, no. One. What I was gonna say is, let's do the live ones while he's gone to test it How out. How about this? Yeah. What if we will go live and we hit ten thousand likes? Is that possible? Let's fucking run it up, man. We need ten thousand likes in the next. <laughs> is that possible? Likes. We're gonna have full crumb on the show live. 10, Next week, likes. if we get ten thousand likes, let's go. Let's do it, man. Blasio will pay for Fulcrum's f- flight and and stay if we if we hit ten thousand likes. Shit, he can sleep on the table right here. Yeah, I, I, no. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put him in a nothing personal got, fucking uh, sleeping bag. Hey, Fulcrum, we got no problem with you using this as your bed for the for the yeah, time being. Sleep right next to the mics. Yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can sleep right next to the mics. So I'm not talking to Sleepy didn't host. Sleepy didn't host. Sleepy, Sleepy didn't host. Sleepy didn't Hey, but honestly, yeah, if you guys fucked with this and you guys really want to support the channel, a like, a comment, a I subscribe you, yeah. really yeah. helps grow the channel. It shows, you know, that yeah. you guys uh, like what's going on and want but, to see more content. What are your plans with the, that myth. With, the, with the channel, though? What are your plans? I think we plans? should, like, definitely do more, uh, like, outside of the... The set, we will. vlogs and shit like that. Yeah. Well, we have we, should, we like, have a whole team here to support us. You like, know? like you know, like 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 we should like go out and do like fashion related shit. You know, like complex con, sneak sneak con, mm-hmm. fucking you know, like honestly, on some real shit. Wait, the, when's the Supreme Store opening tomorrow? Tomorrow, we should go vlog that tomorrow all, all, to, all together. Oh, that would be a good idea. I'm down I mean, it's, it's some logistics that are involved. We need to find a filmer. Exactly, and, and nigga, we got a filmer stuff. that was just taking pictures of us. He's busy on Thursdays. It's a thing. Y'all niggas acting like we can't find a filmer, bro. We could find a filmer. I could find. There's you no know what? Man. I do give you credit though because I told you there's no chance in hell you're gonna get that Letterman jacket made. And my boy, don't nigga. I'm the kid that motherfucking did, nigga. What are we talking <laughs> no, about? No, I, I was I was I staring at you. Happen, bro. I was pointing my finger. Bro. I was yelling like, "No, you stupid <laughs> bitch! You are not getting this shit." Who did the same thing to me <laughs> about my about the shoes? I'm the kid that did. And it. with that being said, nigga, disconnect. Uh, reconnect. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Woo! Reconnected episode, episode one, one man. man. Let's go. Shout out. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Back. Biggest bro entertainment. Shout out to Riley yeah, on the board. Shout out to Riley. Shout out to, Riley. Riley. Yo, yo, shout out to Riley for working a whole fucking day at work. Yeah. And then Pulling coming up. over and fucking doing the yeah. new yeah. show behind the boards. We ain't got no money to pay her yet, but we will be paying her soon. Let's go. Let's go. Woo-hoo. Reconnected, baby.